Welcome back, everyone. Uh, today is a big day. We've finally reached the end of an arc. Uh, so this is kind of a big finale episode for our group. We've been actually we've been in this dungeon for, I think, about a year as far as real life time goes. Um, but it finally comes to an end tonight. We've got a big session planned. Zach said that he's got some really special stuff for us, so we're going to get in there. I do apologize for starting a little bit late, and we're still figuring a couple things out. Fantasy Grounds has had an update in the recent past, and uh, it kind of mucks some stuff up. But that's not going to stop us from having a great time tonight. I'm glad you are with us. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, get in there. Through the portal in the jungle. Did Hello. we know it was a mine on an island? Hello! It's a we mine are in a jungle. Hi, the internet. Welcome to our D&D &D game. Boo. Uh, there we go. Tonight's episode is brought to you by... The letter L and the number the three. L. Oh, no, no. There will be five L's tonight. One for each. <laughs> Doubt. <laughs> <laughs> However, maybe tonight may I mean if it's not it's damn near the final night of the <laughs> Von Norick arc. Man, remember four sessions ago when you said, "Hey, this is going to be the last night of the dungeon, guys." Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> remember the whole last year that we spent on a fucking boat? Yep. It's almost over. But, as you may or may not remember, you had traveled to the island of Dorwine, searching for activity of the cult that you had been tracing. On the way, you met Luvan, a captain. Eh, somewhat charismatic man. But, um, definitely had been involved in some strange things, and was kidnapped by his brother Norik. Also, he might be one of your dads, you know? That's how it goes. He might be all of our dads. He might be all of your dads, really. Huh. Damn. Man gets around. Considered that. You fought your way through twisting corridors, a uh, an otherworldly prison, and a shadowy temple, if you will. <laughs> mm. To find the four keys to access the area, to access the portal to beyond which you know North lies. You have gathered the keys, and you have returned to the magical facsimile of the Blaze Spire created by your temporary ally, Marceline, for the evening. She did say she wanted to talk to you, and so we join you now as you all sort of sit tensely around the table, uh, still bloodied and beaten, but able now to rest and, you know, gather, gather yourselves. So, you have all three keys, then. Or four. You mean all four? Yes. Yeah, 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 we, we, yes. Great. Well, tomorrow, then. Tomorrow? Before I send you to, well, what may or may not be certain doom, do you have a plan to get out of there? Um, my working theory was that there's some sort of opening or mechanism that they use to get to in there uh, with his ship, but with, without knowing precisely what it is. Not much of a plan. Can't you teleport us? Only if we're on the same plane. Oh. Uh... Hmm. Well, I certainly hope that you find a way through. Before I send you, I do... 
Um, I cannot remember. So if you you guys, you've given her like most of her shit back at this point, right? Her forks. Yeah, she has her spell book and her staff. Yeah. Okay. Not her tuning forks. Yeah, she does not have tuning forks. Before you go into oblivion, I would like all of my items back. That way, I can get myself out of here after you go. Yeah, that'll that should that should be fine. She extends her hand. Oh, do you need them right now? I'd like them right now. Yes, thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna like stick my hand out in front of her hand where Marcus can't reach. Like, uh, uh-uh, uh, no, not until. Oh well, good luck getting there tomorrow then. Well, fine. Good luck getting out of here. <laughs> Mutually should start. To I love this. I'm not certain if that's you as a DM or you uh, role playing. Oh, that was her voice. Yeah, that was her voice. Oh, it was hard to tell. I mean, I understand I... wanting to have them now, and don't think that we're not appreciative of all the help you've been giving us, but. What good would having those right now do exactly? Other than, you know... Gives me the peace of mind. You also are well aware that I have used my power and cannot cast that particular spell. So having those tuning forks does me no good until we all, you know, sleep tomorrow. Out of game. Didn't she have a scroll? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't believe she did. Okay. I couldn't remember, because, you know, it's been a year. No. If she did, she doesn't now. She has... She she knows plane shift. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why, do give it to her. why do you need yeah. it now? Again, just the peace of mind of knowing that you aren't going to somehow double-cross me. I would like the peace of mind of knowing that you aren't going to do the same. Oh, come now. I've sat here and sent you to oblivion time and time again. Can't you at least give me my items back? I feel like we've become better friends than that, haven't we? Ah. Our, as far as you our really friendship extends... really shouldn't have said it like that. <laughs> as far as our friendship enough. extends... If I see you again, you will either be surrendered or dead. <laughs> oh, oh my. Well, that is my ultimatum. Give me my effects. Or we all sit in here and die. I don't see a point in dying in that particular hell. Just like, you know, she's been chill. See, that gets it. I speaking as a player, if she's going to double cross us, we might as well just handle this now. Uh, Zach. Mm Mm-hmm. Insight. Oh yeah. (laughs) Roll. I'm just. Oh, not not just not just not just insight, but I'm. Yes, I know. Yeah. I'm just gonna like stare right at her. Okay. Surface thoughts. Yep. Just give me the bloody things. <laughs> Shouldn't be that difficult. Come on. You you immediately don't trust her because of the things you've gone through with her. But in this instance of reading her thoughts and just sort of gauging her demeanor, she just wants her shit back, dude. Yeah, for for what it's worth, I don't mind all that much, but you know, obviously my companions do. In the event that she were to betray us, it would only be beneficial for her, realistically, to send us at Norik, because, you know. Right, you're all going to die tomorrow regardless. I just want my things. All right, and if we win, then, you know, that's one slight uh, 
vindication and or problem taken care of. Regardless of I mean, I don't think she gains much from the world ending, so... You know. No, I don't know that he's a world ending threat. Wow. Unlike, unlike the person sitting across the table. Uh... I think I'm a world ending threat. How flattering. I do work for one, but... I wouldn't consider myself quite that powerful. The old man wants her for something. <laughs> the old I man mean, wants her for something. Looking at you, Marcus. Right. No, he abandoned her here, more or less. In case you forget. Yes, no. I've been sitting here. The only reason I'm alive is because of all of you. As a player, I'm getting some severe uh, retail woes from uh, her right now. Like the whole... <laughs> Just give me the damn point card. Yeah. Like, like I might. What the fuck is your last name? Please. <laughs> I don't need to know your life story. I just need your last name to give you your four. Uh, photo uh, order, ma'am. That that <laughs> that hits me because when I'm doing my job and you ask for someone's medical history, they'll give you a story that goes back the last twenty years at my least. My God. Shut up. Well, it's got to be more specific. My medical history of what time? <laughs> yeah. When I was sick, I took a Tylenol. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what you get. Anyway, pressing onward. Uh damn folks, please. That's all I ask. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. I feel like I've earned at least a little bit of trust. She does have a point. Frankly, with how you all look right now, and she just conjures a small ball of fire in her hand, I could just take it. And she f closes her palm. But I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah, the fact that you had us level up means you're probably not expecting us to actually go to combat with her, and I'm not going to... I mean, to, if uh... you do, we're going to look back at the VOD and see where everyone was at. <laughs> yep. I'm not going to disabuse you of this. I, I'd, like to keep, I'd like to keep my character, thank you. Y'all had, like, 30 HP between the five of you. Uh, that was fine. HP-wise. Right. You were out of spell slots. You couldn't counterball or counter spell the fireball that would have taken the entire room. Nah, man, suplex. <laughs> is there any I counter spell with my fist. Jump on the grenade. Anyways, just give her. Is there her anything we have to handle this before we rest? Yeah, just give her. Yes. Do you give her the forks? I'm just going to look at Marcus. I mean, I've spoken my piece on it. I think it should be yeah. fine. Just give it to her. Hand, hand the damn forks over. I hand the damn forks over. She takes it. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I hope your beds are extra comfortable tonight as she tucks the, uh, tucks the forks away. <sighs> well... That was tense and unpleasant. I believe I'm going to retire for the evening. If anyone needs me, I'll be upstairs. And she goes. Is there anything else you would like to do that night? No. No? Like to sleep. <laughs> hey, Vasani, remember that thing where we were supposed to be actively discoding for, like, months and we keep forgetting about it? Yeah, you've been, definitely been working sure on that. sure you remember that now that you've brought it up. Yeah. Uh, the DM doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> there, were, there were notes in uh, that spell book. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, almost certainly not important at all, but, like, I remembered it earlier today. And I was like, shit, we keep not <laughs> doing anything with that. What was it? There were notes in one of the Imperial Mages spell books that we found on the border of Nakatanya. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do remember what that was. Uh, it was some kind of cipher. 
was yes. Um, let me see if I remember the note. <laughs> what the note is called. That said, I don't think if you can't find it, I don't think we're gonna use it no, tonight. No, um, you haven't finished the cipher. Is what okay. I'll say. Uh, you, you're damn close. Probably like next week we'll. Uh... Yeah, good, good work on that. Is all I was going to say. Since it's definitely not of import right now. Thank you for reminding me of that thing <laughs> that I do <need> care about. <laughs> anyway. So, you all retire for the evening. Oh, powwow in the morning before we yes, get ready. Yes, but before you wake up. Marcus. Ah, poop. Uh, time is Second. irrelevant here. It doesn't really mean much. But you'd say about two-thirds of the way through your sleep, you feel something tap on your shoulder. It's eh. not it. You look around and you see one of the ethereal butlers, the the servants of the uh, of the tower, the ones that bring the food, etc., etc., is just standing above your bed. Uh, and it just seems to beckon you. Yeah, yeah, fine. Marcus, I don't know, does whatever to look presentable. <laughs> Follows oh the man. A little bit of intrigue. Uh, it leads you upstairs to what you know in the real Blaze Spire was the old man's personal study. Here, you open the door. And it is a lavish bedchamber. Let me see if I can find the... Uh, uh, sitting at the desk, at a desk, just off to the right. You see Marceline sitting. Here. Her hand is in her head, and she looks up at you. Oh, lovely. I wanted to sulk. He just kind of okay. rubs his eye sleepily a bit. It's like, uh, don't you sleep? Yeah. Well, I do, but I was having trouble. Because he's not using it. Yeah, he's in mind. And... You see another unseen servant comes by you with a platter of like sleepy time tea. <laughs> she takes a sip. If you'd like some, enjoy. Uh, maybe. I'll think about it. I'm not sure. Still waking up. I want to ask you. Hmm. Why on earth are you insisting on going with them into certain doom tomorrow? You fought four of his lieutenants and barely come back alive every single night. It's the right thing to do. The right thing to do. Come now, you know it's not. <sighs> You're going to die, Marcus. I don't think I will. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in the chat? Anyway. What is going on in the chat? I can send, send you going back in, right? I can send them through and take you with me if you'd like. Let them fight their battle. Let them take care of the one's father. You're oh, destined for more than this. Some petty fight between some want to be god and pirate. Marcus rolls his eyes a bit. It's like... We are more than this. We are better than this. Truly. I appreciate your concern. But I'll be fine. I'm going because without me, they probably won't be able to kill him. She smiles slightly. Make a persuasion check with advantage. Doop, 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 doop. I'd like it in the towel, please. Okay, dokie. Hmm. Well. 
they are certainly more doomed without you, or with, without, uh, yes, make that make sense, sorry, I haven't slept all night. Uh, <laughs> just, for what it's worth, be careful. Hmm. If you do insist on going. I do. Tia. You see, she grabs her staff, waves her hand over it. Trade. You're serious? Absolutely. She's holding the staff out and an open hand for your focus. Like Marcus will reach out, cautiously take it, and uh, uh, as your hand touches it, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Easy money. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> you take the staff. Her oh, stuff is only for your dragonborn. Add a staff of power to your inventory. Bruh. <laughs> Damn. Now I'm concerned. Back at some point. It's just a loner. I she see. You know how to get in contact with me. I suppose so. Um, I don't Marcus think one of your totally friends would like it. Uh, Marcus no, I know I've heard take off his necklace and, you know, put it back. Or give it to her. Uh, the neck, or the necklace that I'm thinking about. No, not the not the magic one. His his little like onyx oh, stone his, focus. His, his, he wears his, it around yes. his neck. Yeah. He ta she takes it. Perfect. Yeah. I do appreciate it. Likewise, if I might ask, yes. when you get back to the material plane, are you just going to go straight back to him. Well, we'll see. Hmm. He didn't seem to have much concern. I reached out several times. And, well, nothing. Let me see. I hear Lane is nice this time, dear. Can't say I would know. You should come I suppose. Here. Maybe. Um. Do you still know the symbol to the? Well, I guess you wouldn't wear that, would you? She draws out. She takes a pen. Uh. Uh. Yeah. A quill. And draws out what uh, you and I have referred to as the mystery uh, teleportation circle. Ah. So remember it. I do, not, oddly enough. It doesn't go there anymore. Where does it go? Our sanctum in the Imperial City. Oh. Huh. He's abandoned it for the most part, much like our old home. Though I don't know that you'd necessarily still be considered a friend by the defense matrix, so do be careful. Yeah, I, I wouldn't assume so. Either way, thank you. If you want to meet me, meet me there. I suppose. I will at some point, at least. I have to return this. <laughs> Again, be careful. I will. You as well. Even if you don't plan on going back, I expect if he finds out you are no longer imprisoned, he won't just as you well know, sit quietly. Mm -hmm. I expect I will be drawn back, whether he I want to. Or not. Hmm. 
have a good night. It's a nice medrash. <laughs> and yeah, she the door is opened by a spectral entity, and you leave, go back to bed, the rest of the night passes without issue. You all wake oh, up in the right. morning. Uh, would I uh, consider myself attuned to this after that long can, rest? I guess? Yes, you can attune to it while you rest and sleep a bit. You do, do I consider myself feeling like find him hugging a staff in the morning? Hmm? We find him hugging the staff in the morning. Ah. It's sitting next to my bed, like it's propped up with my stuff. Well, you have to touch it to attune. I mean, yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna, like, knock on his door frame on the way down. Like, meeting in five. Hurry up. Damn. Delana walks by, uh, carrying a platter of coffee that she has with her. Uh, Marceline gave this to me. I... Would you... Do you guys want some? Rombat rushes and downs half the pot. Oh, you guys are still drinking that nasty oh. stuff. I I remember that Medrash has had like a had a moment with God basically when he had coffee. <laughs> in the yeah, way. Rom- I remember that was that was on the ship only like a week ago in game. Indeed, the only thing that Rombat likes more than alcohol is coffee. What about <laughs> coffee with alcohol in it? Man, the minute he finds an Irish coffee. Palladian. <laughs> Palladian. Palladian yeah. coffee. The, the, the moment he takes a sip of that, he just nuts. <laughs> Oi. Well, yeah. Roll will take some, but he's going to use... Hmm? I think he found that funnier than we did. Probably. Anyway, yeah. I'm a child. <laughs> we all are. We know. No. How is everyone feeling this morning? Right. Rumba's just like going a mile a minute because he drank like eight cups of coffee. Fucking great. I'm ready to go. Let's go right now. You guys want to go right now? Let's go kill the guy. Yeah, sure. Alive. Suspicious. But you're still here, so. Hmm. <laughs> oh, my. I wouldn't leave you all here to die just like that. Come now. Seems as if you want to be having a powwow, so I'll uh, I'll come back later. Mm, yes. Is she gone? Uh, yeah, she leaves. Yeah. I mean, yes. right. no, that's purely out of courtesy. I guarantee she can hear what we're talking about, regardless of where she is in the tower. Yeah. Yeah, probably. But it's not like we have another choice. Do you think I she mean, understands Draconic? I, yes, I would imagine so. I well, learned it. I don't remember when I learned it, so... In any case, I wouldn't, so it would kind of be useless. A moment flashes, Marcus, as you... as, as like... A half of a brain cell tries to remember when you started learning Draconic, and you remember learning it alongside Marceline. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she might. It probably does. All right. Anyway, not, not important. All right. So, I guess, I guess if we're going to fight Nork, you guys should know a little bit about what he is. Obviously, you guys know that I can copy people. And Levon's obviously the same, and therefore so is Nork. We know that Nork can copy more than just looks and voices. But um, we can also read thoughts. Uh, You guys remember when I kind of kicked your ass at cards? Yeah, I kind of cheated. Sorry. I don't, but wow, I can't believe you. <laughs> I mean, not like I said the money very somewhere jokingly. else, but I as know, it I is... Can, I can kind of believe it. Romba pretends to act shocked like this is brand new information to him. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> you? Oh, hey. you. 
Ronbat, I'm guessing you only know that Ash cheated because you probably were too. <laughs> a deck falls out with like seven aces. No. <laughs> uh, right. So, um, I guess, Marcus, is there anything you can do about blocking? Actually, yeah, you any don't kind you of have disrupt telepathic. Uh, not uh, so to to sort of blanket prevent minds from being read. It's a bit more advanced than that. Very powerful magic is capable of doing it, but uh, lower level magic sort of needs to be more of an, a very immediate effect, if that makes sense. I see. Um, there are magic items that do it, but that doesn't help us right now. All right. Madrash. Given, given that you're somewhat similar, what is required for you to be able to read our thoughts. Just focus. It's not a. It's not okay. a spell. I can't really explain it. It's just he just you, can. What you, about proximity? You, yeah. Do you have to see us? How far away? Yeah. It, uh, I'll. I'll just like. I'll just like eyes. start walking backwards and squinting at the group. <laughs> and when I. And you can and, read their thoughts. Uh, let them know. Yeah. Okay, this far, but it's uh, out of character. It's thirty feet. Okay. Uh, what about this? And I cover, I cover my eyes, or at least I shield my eyes from yours. What are you doing? That does nothing. Okay, but <laughs> I, I'm checking in character to decide whether <laughs> eye contact is necessary or if just being able to. Eyes see may the be the windows to the soul, but not the mind. You have to be able to That's see our heads. <laughs> like if I if I go around the corner and I wave an arm, is that enough for him to be able to read my uh, mind? <laughs> Just the thoughts about that arm. <laughs> for gravity's sake, yes. Within thirty feet, Ash can read your mind. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter if he has eyesight. No, it's not a huh. line of sight. No. Your thoughts seems exist. Like this this seems like this could have been very useful for uh, some times that we were trying to be, you know, selfie. It was, it was definitely underutilized, I'll admit, as a player. Um, I was really hoping to use it for, like, intrigue situations, but we wound up getting dragged on the more combat-oriented adventures for the most part. Yeehaw. Well, I'm, yeah. sure, that, I'm sure that you're okay so with anyway, using you started that, blasting. You that <laughs> in the future. So, yes, um, but you were going to say something. Okay. Hear me out. We walk in, and I put several bullets in his head and see how well he can read thoughts after that. That is a thought, in all honesty. Well, it's. Yes. Well, I mean. But I hardly think he's going to let you. At least could, not that easily. Nobody's been able to counter the bullets yet. What As it is. Or a bunch of universal solvent on his head. <laughs> As it is, um, I imagine there may be some attempts at trickery or duplicity, so I don't know, maybe we should no, I was just I was just like fish my pack and like pull out uh, some ink or a piece of charcoal or something and just put like a black smudge on the side of my neck. What, that what you doing? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> he can copy us, but I mean, and any any code word or code phrase he could he could read from one of us, but. I don't think he could copy. I don't know. Something that you've Wait. just put on yourself with an ink pen? Something that know. he won't know that it's there, I think is what she's getting at. I don't know. It's. Don't it feels like if works. they're tapping into your subconscious, it'll be less that. I, I am curious, though, if if she applies that to her her skin... 
and Nork, the, uh, of course, copies her, Mark and all. Would you be able to rub off that, Mark? We we copy bodies, not clothes or, I mean, well, then I could... Wouldn't that be the more obvious option? But... Clothing? I don't, but see, if if there's... If there's illusion involved, I don't know. He's obviously, I mean, he's stronger and, and more capable than what I know. The player, if if it is illusions that he's going to be using, then what's to stop him from using an illusion to copy the mark? Well, if he doesn't know about it. Unless he reads your mind and then it's like, ah, yes, that yeah. mark. Oh. It's, it's... Surface level thoughts. Surface yeah. level thoughts. Okay, what are they looking for? They're trying to tell us apart. Oh, they're looking for, for a mark. Okay, add for it. For what it's worth, illusions are very difficult to do without somebody noticing. Unless he disguises himself as one of us out of our line of sight, we'll probably see him doing it. Mm. <sighs> Especially if it's... Change artists were born. <laughs> Especially from the point of view that he also has to... It takes some modicum of effort for you to change shape as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it takes a couple seconds. Right. It won't be seamless. I, I honestly think we have less to worry about uh, him trying to fool us into thinking we're attacking one of our own and more what capabilities of us that he will turn against us. Mm -hmm. While that is true, I remember the first time we fought him, I don't know if this was his own repertoire or someone else he copied, but he had quite advanced magic. Uh, it will be important for uh, you and I, Madrash, to be within on the board. space of him to do something about that. Yes. I'm well aware. I do hesitate to bring this up, but it is worth mentioning. While he has been a willing party in this, he is, quite frankly, uh, one of the victims of this Vicciati, more or less. I don't know how far gone he is, but if he could see reason, there are a lot remember, of things that we've... You do remember what Levon said about him before he got roped into this. Which thing? The part about being a pirate lord and who was horrifically cruel and was hanged by the Imperials? Yes. I... I... That's still a person, Ash. Redemption, redemption is fair for all. We know he has values. He spared his old crewmates. He... Even when they didn't go along with his wishes, he kept them prisoner instead of killing them. I think that was just a matter of time, honestly. But It would definitely be quicker to kill them than keep them and feed them. I'm just saying, it might not be much, but well, seeing what we've seen with his crew, not to mention the ones who thanked us, after we freed their souls. It bears worth in mentioning, I feel. Well, and if things don't immediately go to shit. The one thing that I'll agree that he values is Levon, because obviously he has to, or this whole sacrifice thing wouldn't work. Right. Speaking of, he's got to be the priority, because if he gets what he wants, and gets this perfect soul stone, we're... we're fucked. You're not wrong. Um... Medrash, that... that solvent could, uh... get off any chains or manacles. I'm sure. Well, I was just assuming he was going to be unconscious. No. Right. Doesn't matter if he's conscious if he's chained to a well, deck. It doesn't or matter if he's unchained if he's unconscious. If 
Hmm. I could teleport us to him, Ash, if that's something you think is a good idea. I personally don't think that's a good idea. At least not just the two of you. We should get him by himself and put him in the queue. <laughs> if I get close enough, I might be able to send him back. Uh, not, not with just us, having mind images you. Images of Bissani, like I'm not trapped in here. You're trapped in here with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, if only it were true. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Sorry. Continue. <laughs> No, oh, yeah. If we can get close enough, I might have a way to send him back. Not with us, mind you, but... Oh. Well, I think... I think we... Can we through on? Yep. Assuming we're on a different plane, yeah. Alright. Hey. Uh, as, as a player, oh. um, I decided, you know, since we have it, we kind of know what it does, roughly. Have they changed the rules for Universal Solvent? Um, I mean, let's look it up. It From says when, it's exactly? Adhesive only now. It just dissolves adhesive, it says. What? That's hardly universal. That's that's hardly... But that's hardly Yagi, what it used to. What? But Yagi, what are manacles but adhesive for your hands when you're a prisoner? Yeah, you it know what's an adhesive? Atoms. It is bonds of the manacles. It does say only adhesive. <laughs> um, that is definitely not how I treat it in other situations. Why the hell? I mean... Uh, it was a random loot roll? I'm... <laughs> What if we mixed it, it with like really on, like ass. spells that like glue you in place, such as like or and items like a tangle foot bag? Hmm. Uh, not that I mean. Hold on, let me adjust Norik's stat block really quick, so he has <laughs> tangle, a tangle foot bag on him. God damn it! <laughs> I thought you know what? Let's let's double check how much usage that we can get out of this. And wait, what? Only adhesive. <laughs> <laughs> the sound, how fast do you how undo medical? That's definitely not how they use it before. Uh, but, uh, I like mean, I just other... checked the Pathfinder uh, book of it, and it also basically says it undoes adhesives. Oh, huh. I think you're thinking of a vial of acid. I think you're thinking of just like <laughs> powerful yeah. acid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah at, at some point, someone said something that made me think that it was just straight up will dissolve anything except the straight bottle up. that it's in. It just kills a person. It would, in fact. I mean, it, kind anyway. of, it probably would anyway. Yeah, if you drink it. So. What you guys doing? Well, Some time? I Any think Falana strategy? and I could... Falana and I could maybe get close if... Uh, if Nork does Marcus, can you value anything. also take one of us... Uh, that particular spell is not what I know. Oh, okay. Yeah. I might be able to get Valana and, and myself close. That that might let us get him away a little bit. And then, Marcus, I, you can do your thing. I mean, well, if we're going to do that, I would just rather get close and do it. There's a world in which you distract them, and I... Go in and just get get dad. It would have to be a very good distraction. I feel like there is not a world in which we can cleanly pick him up and or unshackle him from where he is without notice from someone. That's fair. That's his priority number one. It has been for several months at least. Right, right. Okay, maybe not a great idea. Do teleport circles work um, across dimensions? No. Oh, also, they take a minute to set up. 
I was thinking we could like set it up beforehand and then like well no I need to make a mad dash. That'd be cool, but no. No, we are without a way home, uh, as far as I'm aware, when we're there. I mean, <laughs> obviously, we have options that we can exercise, assuming we are successful, but, you know. Grab him, run back to the main shaft that does the stone thing, take the stone out and be safe in the middle. Uh, this is also we're going through a different device this time. Also, he serves cool. Vickiati, and Vickiati could presumably put him wherever he wanted. Yes, but remember, this is you know th that is the other element to be aware of, I suppose. Um, if possible he's going to try and make it so that nobody is successful. And, well, that's not ideal. So there's just an element to watch out for other than defeating Nork, I would say. In that case, maybe it would be best if Volana just took you, Marcus, and then you just immediately teleported him away. Well, that's the away, thing. Rather. Moving in there like that is going to draw a lot of attention. I need to be able to focus on that spell for some time. A minute, exactly. No, no, not the not the circle. Your your banishment. I'm also aware. A oh, I that need also a minute. takes a minute? No, I need to concentrate on it for a minute for him to stay there. Otherwise, uh, he'll poof back in where he was. I see. Let me get Volana close. What if Volana you were in a him... cube of force for a minute? Well, maybe. Let me get Volana close. She can get him to you, Marcus. It is worth noting that this is not my first choice because I don't have any control over where on the material plane he ends up. It is likely that he will go somewhere familiar to him, since the spell is just sort of based on, uh, you know, the place from whence you came, more or less, but no guarantees where he'll be. So if he ends up in the middle of the wilderness, it would be some time before we could find him. Not ideal. How likely is he to end up in the middle of the ocean? Yeah, no, also just like logistically speaking, he's more likely to wind up in a body of water, right? I'd say if we're going by that logic, it'd be more likely he'd end up on his ship. But Well, no, just because like the majority of Ainor is covered in water. But, uh, again, it's <laughs> I guess that while depends that is... on if his ship counts as a place for the spell to target. I would imagine it does, but that's the thing. The spell does not just send them to a random location. It is about locations of familiarity. Um, and I don't, I don't have it boiled down. Like, there's no telling exactly where he'll land, but it's maybe, unlikely that it'll be in direct peril. Maybe that's a. That seems like a risk. Right. Not my first choice. Hey, Zach. Yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt this discussion. I just realized the Celestial Bow has disappeared from my inventory. Do you... <laughs> oh, interesting. We, yeah. we need to go to look for the Celestial Bow, Ash. And it's right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> you just misplaced it. Uh, do you have that as an item or something you can just slap in my inventory, or am I going to have to, like... Uh, I have a note that should be public with you. Yeah, I've got the thing. I'll just have to restat. Yeah, I got the long. I got the stat for the longbow plus one. I'll just restat all that. Go off your... I don't know. I used Control Z at some point while I was 
uh, working on my level up, and I don't know if that could have been it. We just deleted the celestial bow. <laughs> it's like one of those bottomless chasms yesterday. You're just like, oops. <laughs> All right. Well, now, in the ideal scenario, well, in the ideal ideal scenario, we ass. somehow. <laughs> <laughs> That is the most likely ideal scenario. In the ideal, ideal scenario, we talk him down, we convince him that this is stupid, and then we beat up Vicky Adi and go home. In the more likely ideal scenario, we kick his ass, he's too busy having his ass kicked to do anything with Luvan, we beat him, we save Luvan, we go home. When things go south, that's when we can start resorting to, you know, Banishments and uh, other such. Okay, that's the things. that's the foo bar scenario. Right. Okay. All right, guys. I think we can do it. I'm sure we can. Oh, well, I certainly hope so. Yeah, you see, Marceline shows up at the base of the stairs. Are you ready to go, Ben? I think so. All right. Um, you all appear <laughs> oh. I know. back outside the tower as the spell is dropped. So, it would seem this works remarkably similarly to the portals I've opened for you before. Takes a little bit more power on my end, but shouldn't be too difficult. Now, once you go through, um, I think that might be it for the us. I will be gone. I do wish you all the best. Um, I know you, certain individuals uh, haven't been as excited with our partnership, but... It was nice while it lasted. You've been a great help, Marceline. Thank you. I'm gonna give her like a like a little flask of like some really good whiskey. That I have <laughs> oh, before. I I can't I can't drink alcohol. It immediately combusts if I drink it. Ah, uh, you too. Okay, yeah, good. It's not great. I really oh. do appreciate the gesture, and it 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 it. it, it thank you. Well, I cheers it to her. Pound the ball. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well. I cast Greater Mage Armor. Shall we? I'm going to roll see? for charging my magic items. Everyone's good with charges on things. Celestial bow. Ah, good. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Uh, how much juice you got on that cube, good sir? Not well, much. Now it's twenty nine out of thirty six charges. Oh, oh, okay. There you go. That's a good so, amount. I'm just gonna put that up as a crit fail, just because. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that. That that. The cube doesn't like blow up or something if you roll a one, right? No. Uh, no, it's would. just pathetic. You're you're the one who gave us the item, man. Random new tables. Got to start reading. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it turns out we also got something that is very much... Uh... Oh, also, three potions. Oh, yeah, we totally identified those. Yes. What are they? <laughs> <laughs> what potions? Damn it. You, you even reminded die. us at the start of this. You don't have really those. Do uh, they are potions that you looted from the body of the final boss. Yeah. yeah. Um, they were in the, his chambers. Uh Essentially, they rapidly progress time. Um, essentially, if you take your movement action and bonus action to imbibe this potion, you gain the effects of a short rest. Jesus Christ, Zach. What are you doing? <laughs> give me, give me, give me, give me. That's interesting. That's quite potent. It's I'm, I'm strong on. ass magic. Oh, jeez. So, 
I, he's essentially like saying, saying that Medrash should have at least one. For yeah, sure. I think I think one one is one is maybe not enough, but I doubt that uh, he's going to be so kind as to let us use multiple in a sitting and act and for it to actually work. He's basically saying that we may need to heal like half our hit pool <laughs> without. You know, aside from any auxiliary healing we have as spells and whatnot. Well, it's the get out of jail free card that I've handed a handful of you. <laughs> well, for some well, of us, pretty it's potent, very useful. Us. Ideally, I'd like to walk out of here with at least one of those. Yes. Uh, yeah. Agreed. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah. I think... I think... I hope you're prepared for the ingredients to that to be nigh unobtainable. Hey, I and obtainable means very little when we have some free time. <laughs> um, you think we'll have free I've time. Known you, I've known you all for about a month, and I can't say any of it has been free time. <laughs> Funny, it feels even longer than that, doesn't it? It's only been yeah, a month longer. I think it's been uh, like a month. I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna ridiculous. vote. We have one for Medrash. So you can get spells back. One for Marcus yeah. because yeah, Arcane so Recovery. Can get back. Yeah, and, I wasn't gonna suggest anything, but that's a good idea. And yeah. one for me because I have the Celestial Bow, and no one else is attuned to that. Uh, does a short well, that, uh, that? Yeah. Do we know another that action surge? Uh, it's Starters. less. It's less ah, about gotcha. spells or whatever, and just me being alive to wield it. Being alive that's is good. True. Yeah. Uh, my day, I'm going to I'm going to voice ahead of time though that if I'm anywhere nearby, uh, rely on me for healing, not that. Also, you can heal. You soup. Yes. Yeah, he picked up. A, he knows cure I wounds picked now. Up a feet. I picked up a feat, so I have cure wounds. Whoa. Oh wow! Trash is a healer now. Gross. Um, for those of you for whom it applies, you cannot action surge after taking this goddamn potion. <laughs> Do you oh. mean on the same turn or on the same turn? Oh, okay. <laughs> Makes sense. You can't knock yourself <laughs> out and take a nap and then be like, nah, I'm gonna do something else. I was already planning bullshit. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> but but if we've used action surge, we will get an action surge back. Yeah. Yes. Hmm? Oh totally. Okay. And again, it's you take your entire turn. You can't move. You cannot bonus action. You cannot action. You oh. fall on the ground, unconscious, and take a short rest. So it's your action, bonus action, and movement action. And movement hey, action. We, it okay. is a full round action, as we did not say hear. in Pathfinder. Yeah, initially, you did say bonus action and movement action. Yes, that is what yes. you had to say. Good to clarify. And action. I do apologize. It is, your whole, it is a full <laughs> round action for those of you who are familiar. Are we prone after it? Yes. You oh, fall good. down. You, con you literally fall asleep six seconds and the potion basically advances time for you instantaneously so that you have been asleep for an hour. All right. So I don't want to be this guy. You are, but... you are effectively incapacitated as well. I get you. I don't want to be this guy, but in the event that it does come up later, I want the precedent to be set. Can you have someone else drink the potion? Can you give someone else the potion? Yes. Totally. Just drop it down, Norix. <laughs> it is. It is still your action to give someone else the potion, unless you're Vasani, because I'll rule that he right. can use action quickly. So does that mean they don't <laughs> lose their turn? Because that. Um, I'm gonna. S <laughs> That, that's why I'm asking. I, mean, I feel like the person yeah, they might lose their turn. They lose their turn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Follow up I, I think question. That's the idea. Do they so have to be willing? Right in six seconds. Hmm? Follow up question. Do they have to be a willing creature? I mean, I'd say no, but like, why are you giving them a short rest? <laughs> yeah. When, I when mean, other than to just like murder him. <laughs> if If we are taking the short rest for healing, purposes would it happen upon drinking or upon the turn that is skipped uh you are if you're giving someone else the potion 
Yeah, but, so if you drink it immediately, we'll you say can it take... happens immediately. Okay. All right. Uh, that I that sounds good. Uh, yeah. I'm guessing that it's... just so we don't have the headache of yeah remembering. remembering. Also, and, I f- I feel like it should uh, be said that it's, it's not a healing potion. So if you give it to someone that's down and making death throws, then that just means they make exactly death right. throws super fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah. yeah. the, the way that the way they that we have determined how the the potions work. Yeah. Though if they if they stabilize, then they could take a short rest and get half their, <laughs> their hit points back. You know what? Fuck it. Sure. <laughs> I'll allow you to roll death saving throws until you either die or stabilize and oh, then baby. take a short rest to come back. <laughs> what if they get a nat 20 and are brought to 1 HP? Do they just go, ah? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right. You know, I'm a fan of a slightly different phrase. We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. All right, well, have fun. <laughs> right. I'm Onward. successfully wasted. The large, this is now, it's like a large stone platform. You, uh, you know, you've seen. You all stand on it as Marceline places the four keys. All right. Good luck. And you feel magic swell up from under you as Marceline begins to channel energy from a small obsidian necklace around her neck. Uh huh. <laughs> Radiant and... spell casting focuses. Bowtie. <laughs> wom, 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 wom. Darkness. Darkness! Look around. Wait, I can see through it. <laughs> you can absolutely see through it, but the fact that you don't see anything makes you panic. Yeah, it's you, you see the blind eternity. Right, forgot. Uh, you travel through space. We're going to charge at dawn. So let me... Ah! Stars <laughs> flash by. You see mind flayers fucking. Yes. Ah. And you land and bit of room. Your That's... eyes have to adjust for a sec. And for at first, as your eyes are adjusting, you begin to hear the sound of people <laughs> laughing. Raucous enjoyment. A horse. Going down a cobblestone road. You look Is around. The horse also laughing. Your eyes adjust. Hmm? Is the horse also laughing? No. The horse is a horse. Of course, of, of course. course. Unless that horse is, of course, the wonderful Vicky Adi. <laughs> <laughs> you look around. It is nighttime. It is dark. The stars above seem to be normal. You are on a street outside of a busy tavern. This Uh, is not what I was expecting. What's going on? Good question. I don't think Ron Bet's quite at home here. Is there any, like, signage or anything? As you all take this in, you begin to hear sound. Approaching feet. Heavy, armored feet. Ah. As a player, I know it. I'm, I have a very good idea what this is. You look up. Imperial soldiers. Mercenaries. Bearing the crest of the trade princes of Faland. Are marching toward the inn. Yep. And at the head of them. They ignore us, don't they? A slightly younger, though unmistakable visage. Luvon. Yep. They march into the tavern. Um. Wh- what's should should we follow? What what do we do? I think I think this is the like... recreation of your family beef. Right, Nork's memory. It's the night that Levon betrayed him. Do you think there's some good brothels around this town? You hear a commotion coming from within. Seems I mean, fighting it begins to erupt. I mean, yeah, I'm going to look in. You yeah. look inside, 
and people are walking by and you do notice through you. Yeah. Yeah. As, you know, rushing out, they do come by and what would have been someone bumping into you, they just do you look a crew of pirates engaged with the combined forces of the trade princes and the empire after someone that they have been hunting, Luvan, right there with them. His sword pressed up against his brothers. You all feel just almost a bit of it's not it's not your own but anger and sorrow begins to fill your hearts from some unseen source and then <sighs> you are on an empty plane of smoke looking around there's nothing and slowly, shapes begin to form in the mist. Chains floating up. Rocks rising. You begin to hear chanting from ahead. I'm going to... Do you go investigate? One I, second. I also. think we are going to go investigate, but I don't know <laughs> if this is a memory anymore. Do, 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 do. Ba -ba. Ba -da. You hear chanting and you head forward. And for the first time in a long f***ing time, I got to share a map with you guys. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. The map's name is Nightmare's End. I don't know if it didn't pop up for the rest of you. <laughs> nope, it's there. Yeah. Not for me. Well, in the list, it didn't automatically oh, open up. I don't way. think it... I don't... Eh, it's a little annoying. Yeah. It doesn't let I me... Pull, I pulled it up. Sometimes you can force us onto it. Sometimes you can't, I guess. Uh, I Holy haven't had shit. to do it since we updated. Huh? Uh, is this just an update that you can zoom out as much as you want on maps now? or You can zoom out as far as you like. <laughs> Did you? Okay. <laughs> and it's I would no like longer. you all to arrange yourselves on the far southwest rock. As you see that. Huh? Where are we at? I'll be right back. No. You're leaving now. We got the dramatic music and everything. Well, better now than right when the fight starts, I guess. I suppose so. Ah, whoa. But, uh, I, I oh, don't know what's happening. What the hell? Zach? Zach? All right, I'm back. Sorry, guys. It doesn't let us arrange ourselves. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Going on. There we I go. have the tokens that? locked. Again, we haven't used a new map in so long, I forgot <laughs> to do that. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, that's I don't neat. know, I don't know uh, if you're frustrated with yourself, or you're trying to be frustrated with us for this. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Why would he be frustrated yeah, yeah. with us? Exactly. Or himself. Oh, that, you know, there hasn't been a new map in ages. Oh, no, that's what you meant. No. I see. I Zach's the one that did that to us, so he can't I know. hardly. <laughs> I know. I know. Not at us. All right. So, as you all will see on the map, just ahead. Wait. He's here with us. Huh? <laughs> and why is there two? Why is Two. What? Uh, uh, I don't know if you meant to uh, for us to see this right there. Oh, yeah. There's two Marcelines. 
I can see everything. Well, it's because she was on the combat tracker from <laughs> uh, the last fight, and I forgot to delete her. Here we go. Hey, Aaron. Yes. Ah, goons. How do I increase things? Such increase. as attack rolls and or my saving throws. Uh, let's see. The So remember <laughs> I talked about the magnifying glass next to the spell? Do I have to do that on every individual spell? No, you shouldn't have to. Um, okay, so that, that would be how you set it. Otherwise, they should just calculate from your uh, proficiency score and your modifier, right? Yeah, but I have bonus. Yeah, some plus twos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Maybe if I just put bonuses here. It does like not apply across the board. There could be a hidden stat that have to is hit the plus based. two button when you want to add it. Yeah. That doesn't work for saves. I... Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. There might be a thing. There has to be a thing. I tried to see if there was an effect I could add, but I did. Ugh. Um, for now, just pay attention to the number, I guess, and then we'll... <laughs> <laughs> Manual it is. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess I'm probably not going to do that many saving throw spells that are unique, so I can just add it each time, it, I suppose. Does it increase your saving throw? Yes. It increases... Yeah. You gave me something bananas. It increases your AC, um, attack rolls, and saving throws with spells, as well as yeah. a plus two to attack and damage rolls with the staff, but that's less important. Well, the AC, you can uh, add that to... I know how like, to do the AC. But... Okay. You did mention it earlier. Or was this... No, you said mentioned it for the saving throws. Yeah, saving throws, I've not been able to find anything to do that. I've had to manually do mine. Guys, Luvon rolled like shit for initiative. Hey, were we supposed to roll for initiative? Uh, All right. yeah, everyone, please roll yeah. initiative. Also, let me just real quick update Luvon. I always roll shit for initiative. Because he is at zero. Give me one second. I'm gonna grab a granola bar because I'm really hungry, but I don't. I do not want to stay around or stay away to fix a meal. It should be sunny. <laughs> I've been got. Oof. The eight squad. Ah, oh, fuck. Eight, we're eight. right after Norg. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, feels bad. Oh, quick, quick, before, uh, quick, so that we can have some kind of, uh, you know, basis. Oh, also, I purpose. forgot to add one other NP. Yeah. You have a lot of okay. targets, my friend. We. I am back. Distances. Zach, before before this becomes uh, a debate about it, do players do? Do characters, creatures, NPCs, everything, do they get a reaction even if they haven't acted in combat yet? Yeah, totally. Okay, good. Is that, I think that it's as long as like... they're not surprised. Yeah, that's fair. I, I totally get surprised. Okay, no reaction. All right. But I don't think we're surprised here. Ah. Uh, so uh, as you all approach, you do see far across. Like, I believe it's a couple hundred feet. Hey, Zach. What's up? Can you give me Chester? It's 190. Huh? Can you pop up Chester? Uh, there is no Chester. Uh, let me do a real quick. Uh, let's do... Um, mimic. Here we go. If, if it rolls stuck... its own initiative, right? Yeah. yeah. That's now okay. Yeah, Chester goes right after Luvon. 
guys might mimic bitch you in the initiative. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, it's not the mimic I'm worried about. You see, as the individuals are chanting, there seems to be a dome of force around Luvan and Nork. Uh, you hate to see it. Yeah, that sounds right. So, let me just, real quick. Oh, a big one. Yeah. I see. Uh, the pirates all... are in there, too. The pirates are in there, too. Are those, like, actual skeletons? Or actual more of the shadowy pirates. type? Actual oh, okay. skeleton pirates, yes. Nice. I like how you remember to turn on the uh, visual effects. Mm-hmm. It's a new map. I didn't have to keep turning them off and on again. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You all hear sort of echoing throughout. Just a mad laughter. <laughs> you have company, my friend. And Lou or er, Norik turns. Keep them away. And as you all look around, you take in your surroundings a little bit more. You are in essentially more nothingness. We lost Rombat. Did we lose Rombat? We did. Oh. But a moment passes and you look up. That's that's Findhorn Isle above you. The sky, you are seemingly inverted above the promise docked next to Findhorn Isle. Interesting. <laughs> it's above us, but top down. It's above you, but yeah. it's as if you are on the underside of like rocks floating above, like in space. <laughs> Red. But looking up, you see the Earth. Yeah, I'm not going to try to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> and below you, you see stars. An endless expanse of stars. That is a wise decision. Hmm? Not thinking about it. The, the Earth being upside down above you? And then just... <laughs> All right. So it is it is Ron Bat's turn. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, it seems like we've lost him. Did he Indeed. mess? Uh, he so, okay. Emergency BRB. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's got okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh I think he's gonna move forward and if there's something within range, he'll shoot it. Uh he's got a gun that can like shoot a mile away. Yeah, he's got oh, full okay. scope of this field. Yeah. He might so. he might be going after one of these withered cultists because he might remember that, you know, they're the nastier <laughs> spellcasters. Yeah. So let's go with Okay. I do think he'd go forward. I'm guessing these chains are traversable. The chains are traversable and you can also jump across the rocks if you want to. Okay. <laughs> nice. Is there it are these easy enough jumps, or are these something that we have to be careful about? That's a great question. I don't have to be careful, I presume. Well, yeah, you can fly. Yeah. Right. Although, when you're upside down, you don't know. So, yeah, he's going to pull out the sniper rifle, and he's going to go for... Yeah. He's going to go for the Withered Cultist. Let's go Withered Cultist 2 on him. Um, yeah. And he has advantage because that hasn't acted yet. Nice. Uh, he would have done minus five plus ten on that, so we'll call it. And this is a crit as well because of his. Oh, right. Sighting. It is a crit. Oh, no. It wouldn't be, because that oh, guy right. is surprised. Oh, right, they're not surprised. Yep. But it would be a sneak attack. It yeah. is sneak yep. attack. That is true. Oh, dang. Okay. 
Nice. Well, okay. Shit. <laughs> Max damage. Uh, and you already have the extra 10 for the minus and, 5. And uh, 10 damage. Yeah. Pretty good damage. And he's going to use his other attack to reload the sniper rifle because it's a one shot uh, wonder. One opportunity. And a bonus action, he's going to dash along the chains. Andrew Punk just God, how much gravity is there? Uh, he didn't say just anything about abnormal Naruto gravity. With just the gun in hand. <laughs> just <laughs> I'm sure Chester's in his pocket. Kind of scene. So. Chester are, uh, is probably in his pocket. Somewhere. Riding along with him. All right. Visani, you're up. In horn. Okay. He's targeting yeah. everybody. <laughs> I'm guessing. Just Thanos oh. snap. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them are actually out of my effective range. Oh no. I can't hit. Well, I mean, I can hit them, but it wouldn't be. So you... Oh. Bombo hey. has maximum yeah, range of 600. Well, yeah. Sorry, yes, we, but I, I took need, your uh, sharp for you. And uh, he didn't jam your gun. And I didn't jam your gun. So <laughs> what I did for you was uh, you're on this map. Do you see, you see the map, right? Yeah. Uh, I had you dash along the chains just to start getting closer to the problems. Uh, and you pulled out your sniper rifle, shot Withered Cultist 2, because you remember those are the problem ones, and then reloaded the sniper rifle with your second attack. How far away are the um, cultists? Withered or withering? The ones that are problems. Ones that are problems uh, from you, like 150 feet? I don't need the sniper rifle for that, I can just do the pistol. Oh, okay. You want to use the pistol? Yes. All right, we're going to roll back all of Ron Bat's turn. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I have too much range. Also, we said that uh, Chester is in your pocket. Yes. But look at the damage rolls, Ron Bat. They're so yeah, juicy. You can get an idea of the, the range by clicking the target enemy unit button. Yeah, you can um, control click them and yeah, see. Yeah, so are good damage rolls, but I can do more. You're not gonna. I might, because I get two, two attacks, attacks with the bomb uh, or the the handgun. Yeah. I mean, I might not, but who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Alright, so I will dash up the chain using a bonus action. Mm -hmm. Then I am going to target the same one that I got targeted before, which was two. two? Uh, the chains don't seem to be affected by gravity. So, mm -hmm. like, you step onto them and they don't, like, shift under your weight. They seem to be rather solid and basically good to walk on. Chain physics are coming in the next patch, don't worry. <laughs> they're also like 15 feet wide, so... Yeah, they're giant chains. <laughs> um, da -da 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 -da. Appreciate that joke. Uh, Cultist 1, actually. See within range? Probably. Uh, yeah, you can control-click them, and it'll tell you exactly how far away you are. Yep, it is within range. Honestly, if they exist, they're within range. More or less. So I'm going to shoot at him instead. Okay, fuck that guy. Just because the chain seems to be leading to number two, so people with less range can go for him. There are these bones as well, I don't know. Yeah, you can cross the bones. Uh, yeah. They seem to be floating in space. They seem to be even more unaffected by gravity. Would you say that he's at all, like, shocked at how far I can shoot? No. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have advantage because they have an... Yeah. We correctly I, guessed he, that he I would... correctly guessed that he would minus 5 plus 10. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> If, You'll I play have advantage, back, but yeah. if I have advantage, I will do it. Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong, too. 
not in this case. Um, sneak. He rolled sneak better. already sneak. more damage. Yeah, it is um, more damage. I got know out. It you it was, you dealt more damage. It's only thirty three. He does okay. get another attack, though. There is another no, attack. This is my first attack. Yeah. Second attack. Second attack. Uh, I'm going to do at a regular. I made the map too big. Shrink that down to size. And shoot a uh, oh. mm. <laughs> so close. If only you were a champion fighter. <laughs> <laughs> if only I could double dip back into fighter. I or think. Blade Roar Warlock. I think the Gunslinger, don't they get that like super late? Super late yeah. in the game, uh, probably, like, yeah. Super, super late. You have to be with commitment to the Blade, you know, the, the more balanced version of it. Okay. And you said you dashed as a bonus action for me? Uh, yeah, I did, to get you there. Perfect. That's me. All right, Visani, now it's your all righty well i am glad he decided to shoot the other one because that's the one that's in my range who i will also shoot i am gonna aim so that i get the advantage in the sneak what a guy good thing i did Good thing you ate. Uh, Chester is taking the help action during his turn. You need to be adjacent to the target when you do that. Yeah. Yeah. In case somebody rushes me. <laughs> you have to be adjacent to it when you take the action. Right. He's holding his action. Take the help action. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, son. That's me. All right. Withering Cultist 2. Not going to hit the deck so you can't be shot? No. Well, right. <laughs> I don't plan on staying on this rock forever. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I do believe Ron Bat might be the only person in his range. Bring it on. Come on. Damn it, Ron Bat. <laughs> what? What's You're damage just from? out of my reach. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, for for all it's in his range. For, no, he's no, out of no. my reach. For shield. Well, not for shield, but for to project my ward and such. Uh, right. uh, that that great. Great. He must be full up, isn't he? Yeah. Two grave bolts blast out one at Marcus, the other at Ron Bat. Oh, all right. Yeah, all right they, but... oh, they have some intense range too, apparently. Uh, yeah, they're they're like stooped up Eldritch blasts. <laughs> they both miss. I flip them off. <laughs> Thanks, Marceline. <laughs> oh, did that just miss with you the are... staff? Oh no! Wait, yes, yes, it did. Nice. Chester takes the help action, pirate Ash. Delays the help action. Uh, um, I'm, well, Ronbat softened up uh, the cultist one, so I'm going to shoot at him. It is within range. Longbow is uh, 150 feet, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Two people. So has not acted. Three hundred at disadvantage. Uh, six hundred. Six. Max. Yeah. Oh damn. Six hundred yep. is max range. An arbitrarily yeah. large range. I mean, that's the range that you'd be firing like a volley at. Less so a. Uh... Unless you're a sharpshooter. Yeah. For some reason, Rumba can accurately shoot at like a thousand feet away. That's 600. Okay. Or wait, what's the highest range of your longest range gun? 1,200. What the fuck? Sharp, <laughs> uh, sharpshooter doesn't let you shoot past the maximum range, though. It's just. No, you know. his highest range gun is 1,200. Oh. Nice. Yep. Uh, let's see if we crit. That is not a crit. You don't. Also, for whatever reason, rolling with advantage makes us take up two ammo, and I never noticed that before. <laughs> that explains why you keep running out. That does, honestly. Are you sure it's not? I think it's doing your, your third one. There. Yeah. Yeah. It hasn't been eating too no. for me when I do it. I mean, I just did it, and it was. Hey, there's an eight and a six. That's max damage, Ooh. yo. Oh, boy. That's good damage. Oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> we love to see it. It's yeah. gonna be one of these where we start out strong, and then in the middle of the fight, like when yeah. uh, we actually start hitting the boss. Yeah. Once the boss fight actually begins, we won't be able to do anything. Okay. I can let's feel see. it now. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. It's okay, because I still get to roll one more time. Plus 13 will do that. Okay. Uh... Okay. And I'm going to add the D8 for uh, Colossus Slayer. Nice. All That's right. Good. Pretty good. And I'm going to start moving this way, since it seems like we're working on the folks on that side. Hammer and anvil. Yep, that's me. <laughs> Withered Cultist 2 gets its turn. You know what it's you not see, in range of? It casts a range. spell on itself. Ah. Uh, yeah. Does he deal damage? Far away from spell. <laughs> uh, it looked like you moved one at the start of the turn. Yeah, that's one. That is Withered Cultist one. Oh, Wrong that guy. is one. Oh, I yeah. remember. Uh, yeah, whoopsie, whoopsie. What he meant when he, <laughs> said, he said, <laughs> "Looks like you moved one." Okay. Yeah, well. I thought he meant. I thought you meant one space. I was like, "No." I, so. <laughs> no, I just kept moving the wrong one. All good. Just you know. Well, you kept moving I... one. Just in fact, the wrong one. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like all of the cultists on the lower right side kind of just got fucked in terms of uh, their uh, initiative. That's good, because we'd be sitting ducks if they didn't. Yeah, yeah. I'm aware. Is he flying? He is flying. Mm. Yeah, and he's going guy. right there. Perch up on that rock. Oh, okay. And single grave bolt at you, Ron Bat. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, he's... no. He already cast a spell this turn. I'm ah. dumb. Yes. He's yeah. flying. If he were to trip. No. <laughs> he won't just fall into the blind eternities? No, because he's flying through magical means. Right, just break his concentration and then do a forceful shot. And then he falls into the blind eternities. Yeah. <laughs> but he's currently on a rock, so. All right. Four. That's what the forceful shot is for. That's true. <laughs> Actually, you can, with... you can see in the 
like faded in the background is a chain, so I suppose that he would land on that. And that's a really a distant chain. Damage. That is a distant chain. In basically, uh, you are the only one within his. So two dank grave bolts coming at you, Ron. Bat. Don't, don't get caught. Bring it on! Come on! Come on! Come on! I think you're gonna get. I flip oh. him off again. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I flip his friend up again. Remind me of your AC. Nineteen. Jesus what? Christ! <laughs> How? How? Uh, because the gun is a one-handed weapon. And so you have a shield? Yep. Oh, I see. I All see. right. Now it's For what it's on. worth, I'm now sitting at 20. Yeah, but you yeah, have you magical items to bolster it. I have magical items to bolster mine, too, and I'm at 17. Yeah, Would she... you like a shield? I have an extra one. I'm using my... You make uh, I, I don't... I mean... You can't use the bracers and the shield. Though, yeah. if you want to give up the bracers and start using a shield... <laughs> just say you were proficient. Yeah. I know an interested party. That would what be you. Bracers, do? bracers, when you attune to them, uh, give you plus one or plus two, plus two AC as long as you're not wearing armor or yo, using a shield. Yo, we're talking over Zach. Sorry. Sorry. No, not. Yeah, he didn't say anything. Yeah, I, I didn't hear it. Yeah, he moved Valana and it's her turn, so. I'm checking the so... spell. Valana's. Thinking about doing something fun. Is it casting silence on all us fools? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sphere of silence. Yeah. Ooh, that would, we could get Ronbat an enchantment for his guns. It's just silence at the muzzle. <laughs> that was going to be You've the seen... next thing that I was going to buy from Rhines. You've seen the first season of Critical Role, right? That's... Uh... No. Percy has a little a silence thing that he shoots his guns from. <laughs> what I what I would love is that you get a little She goes thing over here for you and it just stress every time it does. Using all of her movement and cast lightning. Uh, good times. Yeah, that seems like a good option. That's a line. Do they counter spell her? Those two can't, I don't think. And the big the bigger guys no. are more than sixty feet away. Yeah. yeah I mean them. I mean, I'm fine with I'm fine and dandy with her not getting counter spell. Just for my own peace of mind, I'm gonna put her just outside counter spell range because she's smart like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's learned from the best. And yeah, she's going to one succeeds, one fails, and it is thematically appropriate that uh, the one that did pass was further away. Yeah, there you go. All right. And yeah, she lightning bolts a dude, and that is her turn. She's run forward a little. Marcus. All right. Good call. In similar fashion, I'm going to just throw a quick uh, fireball at those same two goons. Hey. See if I can. Yeah. Is that with a... It's 150 feet, right? Yeah, fireball is stupid for long range. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Alrighty. I, I think the people who designed the magic uh, for D&D decided they hated blue players. <laughs> okay. I mean, doesn't everybody hate blue players? No. <laughs> Oh, yes! Man. That was so close. Good Wait, save. why are you rolling dexterity save? It's his save imposed on them. Uh, I think. I'm rolling it for them. That's 26 damage, actually. No, no, you oh, rolled a okay, save for yourself. You, you rolled a save for yourself because... Uh, you did wound yourself just now on accident. Yeah, How you, the fuck did I target you myself? You yourself as a target. By accident. <laughs> what? By accident. <laughs> That's really stupid. Uh, but yeah, you absolutely uh, roast those two boys. Yeah. Should we ah, put nice. Abjuration Shield on the map? Hmm? We've ah, never had Abjuration Shield on the map. We we have had Abjuration Shield on the map. Have we? Uh, yeah, so that you could... I do remember so that in the past. Yeah, just so that you could, uh, you could easily target it for the damage while it was still up. 
Nah, nah, you can do that in the combat tracker. I can do I it in the tracker. <laughs> Alright. I'm using my bonus action because I uh, fucking new feet want. Cool. Don't do that. Oof. Indeed. Uh, describe. Uh, uh, give me the... There we go. Uh, so, hmm. Should have thought more about what this looks like. Rob one out real quick. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was not um, what any one of us expected. Um, so basically, Marcus sort of is walking forward on the chain and just sort of uh, his one gloved hand, he just sort of like seems to sort of make a fist and then just like a small wave of energy uh, emanates around him and then goes tame. Nice. It's a very small wave of energy, in <laughs> fact. You're still learning. You're still picking it up. <laughs> Medrash. What was that okay. supposed to do? Uh, can... Don't worry about it. Okay. Can I move uh, six tiles to my east without having to jump, or is it... Six tiles to the... One, two, three, four, five, six, and that's okay, right? Uh, you do have to jump. There is a small bit of space there. But, I uh, use I use my wings to you make use it your, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You use All I was doing was speed. just trying to get within 120 feet so I could el Eldritch Blast this wall. Withered Cultist 1? Yes. Roll to hit. Uh, uh, no. I lap with sharper claws, uh, digging his, his claws into my leg. <laughs> All right, uh, I get three, so... Ha! No, it did not do it. Ha. No! No! <laughs> Oof. Try again. No! Oh, oh, no! Geez. You're getting worse! Well, nowhere to go but up from here. Hey, hey, but but now, it, now it'll cycle <laughs> back around to 20 for the next one, right? Right. Yeah, that's how it works. Nope. Oh, my God. <laughs> no! Uh... Yagi. Uh, well, uh, I do not returning choose. salvo. <laughs> um, I do not choose how that works. So yeah, uh, you fire two bolts, and then you see a singular bolt coming your way. Crits. Uh, Don't get caught. I can't oh, help okay. you. It's currently Abjuration Shield's turn, but yeah. Hey. Um, that's a miss. Yep. Uh, and it is going to try again. It only gets one of those. Oh, good. This one just hops across and just moves slightly forward. Pirate. All right, top of the round, round back. All right, let's take another shot at one. We're gonna aim. Huh? Da, 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 da. Bang bang. Get yeah, fuck. Oh. Ooh. Uh. Good thing I had advantage. Yeah. Well, shooting him anyway. Let's make this one a violent shot. I claim no responsibility, by the way, for our luck suddenly turning for the worse. <laughs> uh huh. Did that happen sooner or later? Well, why did it have to start on my turn? Ooh. I am fucking up. Uh... It's, guys. He Action just rolled across three different d20s, the same that uh, the Withered Cultist did on a single d20. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. Uh, yeah, you should probably Action Surge, right? I, I... I... On the goons? On the goons, oh, how, yeah. How's I forget. It's been a while. How scary were the Withered Cultists? 
get to move before they do. They were scary, but I promise they're not scarier than the boss. Yeah, and <laughs> all of literally all of us get a turn before that. Yeah, one's don't, don't worry about turns. That's, yeah, I yell at Medrash. Medrash, you jinxed me. <laughs> I claim no responsibility for this. <laughs> and I'll like say... a deadbeat dad. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Claiming no responsibility. <laughs> I appreciate it. Just make sure he's still. Uh, yep, still in range. I will blast him. Uh, bonus action aim. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sticking back. I'm not sitting on this rock forever. Well, I assumed he would be dead by now. <laughs> well, as did I. As did I. As did I. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> he was a one. Uh, <laughs> a one. Incredible. One. Oh, Our man. Is absolutely a one. I <laughs> I'll stand here, then. I knew he was really low. I just thought, you know what? I'm going to try to hit him with the Eldritch Blast. It might be enough to kill him. If it isn't, oh well. <laughs> three attacks. Total amongst all three D uh, D20s. Is a seven. I mean, we we took five attacks on him before the sixth one actually hit. It's true. We can just pretend he was actually at fifty life points left. Yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> I right? think he was just so weak that every time he went to cough up blood, anything he would else move out of the way. Uh, nope. All right. So what happens have... immediately when he died? Oh dear. Oh. The bubble goes. That was easy. You all hear Nork turn. Uh, you all see Nork turn. All right. I will deal with you myself. Oh, maybe we should have waited. I would really like to clear that <laughs> before getting to this part. Man, it's a shame you didn't kill him on your turn, Rombat, and then you could have action surged. Yeah. <laughs> Not a fan of what's happening either. <laughs> Withering Cultist 2 is going to hop up on the chain and uh, yeah, it, it's going to take a shot at Ronbat and uh, probably just two at Ronbat actually. Why not? Oh no. Oh. It sensed weakness. <laughs> <laughs> it's spreading, guys. Dude, wow. hell yeah. If anything, he's very consistent. I'll, I'll take the oh. missed shots if as long as it's both sides. Like when he went shooting, his grouping was amazing. He completely oh, missed fuck. the board, but the grouping. The so, layers going. Uh -oh. You all notice as Norik stand turns, the lights below you, above you, below you. Yes. They begin to dim. Oh, oh. oh. That's a neat effect. And some of the lights go out. Uh oh. I hope this isn't some kind of weird turn timer now. I think he's a I think he's a hard. Uh the skeletal pirates now seeing that they are uh you know being called to action. Being called to action. <laughs> um, Ron Bat is from thirty. Okay, so this is at disadvantage with Let me the musket. Check something. Is it within. Yeah, with thorns within five feet or ten feet. Five feet. Okay. So really only helpful when they're really bunched up. Chester well, is a chest. <laughs> Levine. <laughs> Levine continues to be dead. Chester is still a chest. <clears throat> One fifty, huh? All right, another attack with the musket at disadvantage. Me against Medrash. Yep. Yeah, I was checking the distance myself. Uh, right. Can you can you check the? 
is a musket. Misfire two for the musket. Ghost musket. Got him. <laughs> oh, come on. Ash. Come on. It catches, but then it remembers it's not solid, <laughs> so it stops yeah. catching. Yeah. <laughs> it's a spell jammed in there. Oh. Um. I guess I'm going to push forward. I can just walk across this chain, correct? I don't have to. Yeah, make the kind chains of... are safe to walk. OK, I think I'm going to. Anything else that you need to be worried about. Let's see here. Let's say there. I'm going to use my bonus action to dash. Totally. This is the perfect deployment strategy. I see no strategy flaws with what we're doing whatsoever. I know this Planning is exactly party. what happened with the Gloomstalkers. So everyone with good saves was on one side, and everyone well, with not that. saves was on the everyone other. Everyone with heals is on one side. <laughs> oh, that's a very good point. <laughs> Balana, turn back. I know you want to be with your sister, but turn back. Uh, let's see. Metrash hasn't technically committed to either side. <laughs> he could fly. That's true. He can fly. I can, but that. And I suppose if I get hit, I can just warp over to the other side. <laughs> Womp. That is true. Just punch yourself real here. quick. Yep. <laughs> Where are all these ranges? Okay, only one of them is actually in range, but. Him or. Okay. I... I think we're going to target the Withering Cultist that's most imminently threatening uh, Ron Batten and Marcus. Okay. Take a shot across the uh, gap. Yep. To hit. Is he wounded? He doesn't look wounded. Withering? Uh, yeah. Withering? No. Oh, he is now. Oh, there you go. It's true. Huzzah! Huzzah! No! Oh, no! Uh, Ron Bat, what's your AC? <laughs> 19, bitch! Roll to hit Ron Bat. <laughs> no, I'm... No, that's... I said, that would be a hell of a misfire to that's pretty wide. Like 80 feet to the left. <laughs> I am starting a movement in chat. I don't know if you saw it. Oh, no. Oh. It's uh, Justice for Ron Bat, Mosca Jam, or Riot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he uses his insane pirate ghost knowledge to unjam. <laughs> I'm going to endorse your movement. Uh, he's sailed the seas of the beyond. <laughs> the internet will not be kind to you this day. Uh, yeah, I, I use my bonus action to dash, so that's okay. Cool. My turn spent. All right. This guy. Don't know why I just closed my character sheet. I kind of need that open. 55, 50, 55, 60. Flies forward. And is he within right? No, he's not. Okay. So yeah, he is just going to do a dank grave bolt at you, Ron Bat. Can you dispel his flying? I could, but That'd since that's funny. an endless void down there, he could probably just cast it again before anything happens. <laughs> we think that he would have fallen uh, long enough that uh, it takes that much time to uh, come back up. I've been I've falling for the, uh, 30 minutes. Pirates, the Withering Cult is too long still.
Zach, I'm gonna I'm gonna insist that the withered cultist's hands jam. <laughs> His hands fall off. Oh no, Rombat, you've been hit. Like... Rombat has finally been hit. Yeah. Wait. What? That's a seven. Oh, the twenty-three. Got it. Man, I I'm still doing it, but that is a disappointing number to lock with abjuration shield using my reaction. Neat. <laughs> I think he's just pissed that uh, he he got four damage off. Uh... Ron, bet you're the cl well. Actually, no. This one's gonna. I was gonna say I can be a pin cushion. That's funny. <laughs> it's gonna take a disadvantage shot at you, Ash. Ooh, dropped an eighteen. Uh, yeah. Uh, Medrash, actually. He's gonna take one. Sure. Not, not a fan, but, you know, do what you do. Oh, <laughs> so glad it dropped a crit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it did. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> Norik. Norik stands up. He do what he do. I tire of you all. Um, he's going to. We're not fans of you either. Let me just draw this dank circle. Oh no, that's my least favorite shape. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see I'm how in far he can get it. He's so far away. 150 feet. Oh boy. Is where the center of this can be. Is he not moving? Well, nice knowing you guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he moves. Nice uh, knowing you guys indeed. Uh, oh, yeah, he can just walk, can't he? Yeah, yeah that's fair. <laughs> that's just fine, I think. Uh, no, 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 when, no, he, no, when he fixes the center uh, of the circle. Yeah. Okay. Also, yeah. Nope, that's fine. Uh, he's gonna. Uh, it's 150, right? Is the distance. Uh, you want to check that arrow of yours? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quit helping him. He's still got him. more movement left. Hey, if we're gonna win, it's gonna it's gonna be <laughs> legit. He gets all of you in this. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can he choose targets? Hmm. Yeah. What do you mean? Damn. Because I'm like I see I see something very clearly within that that uh he may not want to hit. I mean, so here's the thing. It's probably necrotic damage, and it probably doesn't yeah. care. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So he's going to target Ronbat, Marcus, mm -hmm. Stoney, Chester, Alana, oh, there and, Ash, and Ash. Don't get murdered. All right. I do. I'm going to roll your saves for you if that's okay. Just Unfortunately, no one of mine doesn't yeah. affect yes. the product damage. Whatever, whatever you roll for uh, mine, it gets a plus one. Yeah, you fail. Yeah. Um, fail. Mark's fail. fine already. Fail. Fail. Shit. Shit. Guys, could you stop sucking? All right. I got a 17. I it saved. Still failed, sir. I saved. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's almost nothing I can do about it. <laughs> oh, shit. Ow. Okay, I'm actually. Uh, the ward absorbs most of that. So yes, Nork stands up from like kneeling oh, all of that Levon's body, strides forward, and you see a moat of dark necrotic energy travel, and it's hard. It, you lose it in space until eventually <laughs> it ripples out, and a wave of dark magic 
washes over all of you, dealing a respectable amount of damage. So I'm actually okay. unhurt. There, oh, there was only one of those below a three. Yeah. You rolled pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, average average on that is just the, the Four points lower. Uh, yeah, we all yeah, just, we all really just bad. missed one. <laughs> so real quick, uh, could you mm -hmm. adjust Rombat to have four more HP? And uh... I, I did it already. Oh, okay, um, then abjuration right. shield to be missing twenty. Yeah, yeah, abjuration shield is done. So, no, he's missing twenty two. He's fine. Twenty two. Oh, okay. Twenty two. Oh, you didn't take any damage from that. I did not. Oh, no. you're insane. Dude, in two more levels, I gain resistance to all damage from spells. You best watch out. I think we had a campaign before. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till we make something that's uh, immune to finger of death or uh, circle of death. Or... Man, I really planned on being in the cube before that happened, but I didn't realize it was so long. Yeah, 150 feet. Yeah. The hope was to close the distance before he did that. Did yeah. not pan out. What will Anna do? I mean, that was... That was it. I mean, we don't Alana know that. is going to... Um, Vasani, how big of a owl yell? Uh, well, over half. So pretty big. Um, I'll allow you if you would like. Do you call out for uh, Valana? You want her to? I I, I nah, think I ain't calling nothing. <laughs> hey Medra, since you got hit, can you probably bam? swearing a lot? But that's it. What's that? Since you got damaged, can you like bam? No. I could. He only has one of those. I get one of those. Oh. Or short rest. Gotcha. So while I could use that oh, now... So and theoretically, no two of them. <laughs> All right, Valana is going to... I don't think she has anything that's that long range. How far is control plane is the question. A create bonfire, you mean? Uh, yeah, that one. I think 60 feet, but... Yeah, I think most of the problems are range. She's going to dash to get up to ash. Marcus. Uh, just a second. Uh, all right, moving up. Your sister catches up to you, Ash. You can do this. We're gonna be okay. You know what? <clears throat> scratch, <throat> scratch that movement and pretend I did it before. Or pretend I did this movement after I cast Magic Missile from the Wand of Magic Missile <laughs> at Withered Cultist 2. Absolutely. Because right before I moved, he was 65 feet away from me. Oh, <laughs> remind me, he has uh, the Cultist has to make the concentration check for every <laughs> instance of damage, right? You do. Okay. Eh. Just checking. I am casting it at third level, so there will be five missiles. Oh, that's okay. some, wow. That's average. Decent damage, yeah. Respectable magic missile. All, All right. right. So con saves? Yes. Five, five easy con saves. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 that was the first one! <laughs> <goes>. Wow. <laughs> Fucking it wow. just wasn't ready. <laughs> Nobody's ready. He drops. Well, yeah. the, weak, <laughs> the first weakest as possible magic missile broke his concentration. <laughs> <laughs> yep. um, I guess the other ones just trail down after him. I look well, at Marcus. He saw, what, he saw what happened to his. He saw what happened to his buddy. He saw his yeah. buddy uh, completely get uh, completely. Get, He's gone. Uh, <laughs> completely missed getting hit by five things. And he's um, like, oh, I see five things coming at me. I can do the same. Nope. <laughs> wow. That should delay him for at least a little bit, Marcus will say. As he walks by Rombat. He's just going to call out, Norik! Doesn't have to be like this! 
That's his turn. What? I can't hear you. <laughs> uh, give me a second. I'll be right there. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't hear you over the ringing of the abyss. <laughs> How far? Sorry, give me a moment. How far do you fall in six seconds? No, no. You're... <laughs> oh, I know what I see. What I I you accidentally keep targeting me, targeting you as. You... <laughs> <laughs> At the end of your turn, Norik is going to use one of his legendary actions. Ah, oh, guy. Okay. And a bolt of, uh, well, actually, one, two, and let's go three. Three bolts of an eldritch energy fly out. What a guy. That's fine. Oh, jeez. I got hit. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Oh, okay. Wait, right? what? Huh? He's got the, the it... extra length. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he doesn't have agonizing. He's got the... the He's just got the a D10, that... but he can do it at 300. No, oh, yeah, I get yeah. you. I was just missing who, yeah. which one was going to. Okay. Um, I'm not feeling also, any weakened by this, right? I don't like that it rolled damage on all of you once. Um, we'll say Ronbat takes that five. Midrash oh, yeah, and Marcus reduce your heal up five. Okay. I'm okay. sorry, I didn't realize it would do that. Okay. I think you should roll separately for each of these. I have healed. Sure. He just wants to have the chance of rolling 10 on you. <laughs> uh, or 9, no. you know, that's an option. That's All right, board. 5 of that is absorbed by the Abjuration Shield. And he is kaput. Ah, you took I see. Sure, sure you don't want to keep the 5s? I mean, I'm... Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I was fine with it, personally. I was already fine with it. I'm like, okay, yeah. I don't mind. Like, it makes things faster. Nah, I want to roll damage individually. Get okay. Fucked. <laughs> Get fucked. I <laughs> hope he can't I hope he can't do anything about this. I'll take five and a diagonal. Ten, fifteen, twenty. Thirty, I think this is what calculates to. You know, um, so are you flying? I'll allow it. No. I'm 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 walking. I'm walking with like hops as necessary. Okay. Uh, where were you initially? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. Here. Alright, so... For Second each, diagonal is 10, right? I haven't been doing that personally. Yeah. Oh, you have? Yeah, I've, that's I what have. I've been doing too. Oh, you, you don't? No, I don't. Oh, you oh, don't? Okay. I don't. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, I've been we calculating my, my distances dog. differently. Okay. I need just to me. start abusing. <laughs> yeah, if that's the case. Uh, so yeah, um, if you're going to jump across, uh, athletic. Uh, you know, if you're going to count diagonals as just being uh the same as five, I'm just going to fly twenty, in like that. That's fine. Like, okay, I'll just do that. Just going to fly that way. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to fly significantly higher or anything. You're, uh, but you're gliding fine. through. Yeah. Just off. Totally. Where did my pointer go? It disappeared. I made it, and then someone got rid of it. Yep, there I we are. The thing about the uh, healing divided into ah, wall. nice wall. Careful. Yeah. Careful yeah, I know. I think I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to uh, position it slightly differently. I know this pirate is just within 120, so I want to do this wall. Like that. Okay. What's the range on the wall itself? Uh, it says 120. Oh, dang. Okay, totally. Yep, and I know Skeletal Pirate 4 is within 120. 
So he definitely is. Yep. Well, we don't really have to worry about Pirate Five because it's musket scam. Nah, it's a ghost musket. No. Remember? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so am I good to roll con saves on those? I uh, totally. Although we know re re uh, legendary resistances are a thing, so uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, but you'd have save. to fail to use that. So. That's that is true. Uh, I think this one is coded properly. Oh, fail! Yes, nice. Yes. Norik is instead going to legendary. That's fine. Yeah, that is fine. That is entirely fine. He still takes his damage, which kind of pitiful, but you know, I'm going to hey, take you it. Killed the skeletons. Those poor <laughs> yeah. skeletons. They didn't have a chance. You definitely notice that Norik would have taken that damage. If there wasn't a large, glowing green gem in the center you know, of his chest that absorbed You know, I it. get it. I get that, too. <laughs> but this, but the, the gem is in the center of his chest, too. Do I have to, it, hmm. It's very clearly in the wall. How does yeah, that work? Totally. So We've been down this road before. We just have to either out-damage him or hit the thing directly. It has, like, ultra evasion. <laughs> evasion from area of effects. Gotcha. Very evasive stone. Okay. Yeah. That me. Well, no, you that... guys can't damage it. All right. The, the oh, yeah. bow has. I to thought that, that was only on the perfect ones. I thought he wasn't done. It's incomplete, but it is perfect up to this point. It is perfect up to this point. Yeah. Every soul stone has been a progression upon the other one. This one is going to be like. I'm clearing the dead ass. Cataclysmically good. <laughs> yeah. I figured uh, I yes, couldn't do much the, damage to him anyway. The ads are, in fact, uh, melted. Yeah. I figured that if nothing else, I could uh, get uh, him to burn a resistance. For reasons, their body, I'm going to keep them on there. <laughs> hey, that's fine. But, if but they, they are their wreck, they start their turn. they start their turn in the wall. Okay, cool. Anything else, by Drash? Uh, no, that me. Fuck him up, Abjuration Shield. Rest in peace. Yeah, this one's gonna take a... You're probably the closest. Are you within... Nope. All right, disadvantage shot at you. That's a miss. I mean, even the regular one wouldn't have hit, but still Talk a little around. sprinkling. Ron Bats, you're up. Don't worry about it. All right. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20. Da da da. Ah, nice. Walking along the chain, that is. And I'm going to take a piercing shot on these two fools. Roll to hit. Da 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 da. Wow, walla. Okay, so damage on this one. lame but then the other one oh no do it again it's caught the jam the cage uh he can't jam on the secondary attacks of the uh train shots thank you yeah. thank you for reminding me of this yeah Woo. Oh. <laughs> I saw it roll over. <laughs> These are scary. 
Oh. Um, that and then the one behind disadvantage. Nice. I am then going to um do I action search now to get rid of the things before they do damage? Yes. I'm gonna action search. Shoot the guy in front of me. Okay. Roll to hit. Is it another piercing or? No, I'm out of grip points, so. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Just make sure you kill, kill this guy. Like, trying to kill him so I get some back. Nice. Right, yep, go. you drop him. And then with the other shot, I'm going to shoot the other one. Oh, no, actually, with the other shot, I have to reload. You have a shield on, don't you? Yep. So instead, I'm going yeah. to switch my weapon to the palm pistol of fuck you. Love it. Yeah, you, right? And... Are you able to switch out a weapon and attack? You can draw and stow as a gun. Yeah. Ah, gun oh, man. That's nice. Good man. Gunslinger shit, man. Gunslinger. And damage. Ooh. It is explosive. Uh, there's no one else around him. Right. But just so you know, it blows up in him. Okay. I love it. <laughs> uh,. Yes, with the rest of my movement, I have 10 feet, so I'm going to move 10 feet this way. And I'm going to second win and pass turn. Yes, got it. Vicini. It's me. <laughs> I run over there. I will also be second winding. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and <laughs> nice and subtle. <laughs> I'm gonna click you know, on I, the I, 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 No one was listening, so I decided to uh you know. I love it. It is the anti spell cube. It is oh, okay. <laughs> Probably well, wise. I can't kill you in there. Sure you can, just be on the inside oh, of the I cube. Go, I have to go into the cube, yeah. You know, realistically speaking, I should have just stuck with Bisani and gotten into the cube. Ah, oh, man. We don't need no stinking cubes. I need a my brain cube. will hit anyway. Need a stinking cube. <laughs> oh, sorry. Anything else? Uh, nope, that's it. All right. You'll notice. It's our shift. Did some disappear? Mm, it's getting closer to the new moon. And it's still pretty bright because of my wall of light. You all feel a chill in the air. I would like everyone to make... What is it? Don't say wisdom save, don't say wisdom save. <laughs> Dexterity saving throws, please. Yay, I have proficiency. Ah. Oh, no. The Why one I can do. Oh, jeez. Okay. Wow, okay. Just MLG that, except for Volana. Volana right. does fail. Me too. And Marcus fails. Marcus fails. This doesn't you happen. All, no, go ahead. You all feel... Spectral ghostly hands rising up 
from beneath you, and they grab and pull. And those of you who failed, which, um, just Marcus and Valana are restrained. How annoying. As the skeletal hands grasp you and hold you down. Would Vasoni have had to make this? Um, it's not a spell. It's not a, it's spell. Not a spell. No. Okay. It's ghosts entering the cube. <laughs> not the spooky ghosts. Gotcha. Uh, skeletal Pirate 2 is going to plonk forward. And take shot at... Ron Bat's probably the one that's been, you know, killing the most people. So it's going to take a disadvantage shot at Ron Bat. I'm, I'm restrained, so he would have advantage on me. Just oh, saying. yes, that is true. <laughs> so it negates the disadvantage. Yes, yes. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, but he still gets a really bad addition to it. Yeah, see. Why was he at advantage, though? Because of the... Restrained, but I don't know why that didn't cancel. Oh, because yeah, I forgot exactly. to click. I should forgot be to click the advantage or disadvantage. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. He wasn't gonna hit anyway. Mind uh, moving Chester where he should be. Huh? Chester. Oh, yes. Yes, the most important. Yes, of course. Never forget <laughs> Chester. All right, this one's going to get as close as possible. And it's going to shoot at Valana. Still at disadvantage because of range. But she is restrained, so that cancels out. But she out. is restrained, so it cancels out. So I will just do that. And he rolls nice. a three. <laughs> All right, Ash, you're up. Um, hmm. First thing, uh, I think I'm going to try and get rid of the skeleton that just took a shot at Volana. Okay. Now, um, Yagi, how, wa how wide is the wall of light? Five feet? Five feet wide. Okay, and you can't see beyond it, correct? It, it obscures okay. vision. Okay. Is he fully obscured, or...? Locke's line of sight is what the spell says. I mean, so, him, yeah. specifically. Nork number five. Is number five wall. is... Uh, oh, Nork. Yeah. Number five, yeah, it's fine. Nork can't see shit from precisely where he is. But that doesn't matter, because he can move. You drop Sweet. it. Uh, and I guess I'll shoot at uh, number three then to try and uh, he would be visible, right? Like halfway in, halfway out. Three is dead. Yeah, three oh, that's dead. right. That's right. I think you can kind of see two and one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would argue that they're being right at the end of the uh, wall of light. Um, I'll say disadvantage. Because you can't really see them. Because the wall see one. Thick. Your target uh, one. Does it draw a straight one. line? Definitely. Yeah, you can definitely target one. Two is. Yeah. Unfortunately, he is just beyond my shorter distance range, so I'd be rolling a uh, disadvantage. We got it. be a disadvantage either way, apparently. Unless half cover is only, what, two? Plus two AC for them? Mm -hmm. uh, no, you can't see it. So uh, you have disadvantage. Okay, so pirate one then. I mean, it doesn't really matter if mm -hmm. you're going to get a disadvantage either way. You could go for 
if you're going to have disadvantage, you might as well go for something that's less um less ad like and more uh consequential, like the withering cultists that would go very quickly. You're gonna be at disadvantage anyway. Yeah, you do have a point. Yeah, I feel like it's more of a threat. Yeah, and I have heard Ronbat discharge like four shots in the last yeah. ten seconds. So he's I think given we didn't see any of these pirates go down, then uh must have been a cultist. Ooh. Still good enough. Uh, he's wounded, right? Yeah. 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 So Let's get rid of him. Uh, nice. Good stuff. Actually, it was just the ticket. It was. Oh, nice. Right. Hmm? Without without the Colossus there, it wouldn't have been enough. True. Uh, nice. Um. I'm not gonna leave Valana, but um, what's the terrain here like? Is there anything like protruding up we could like lay behind or take cover behind? There's bones and chains. There's a wall, of light. wall of light. Yeah, you can. There's there's terrain. They can technically pass through the wall of light, but oh, just um, I know I've I've burnt my action, so this is just kind of flavor. But I'm gonna. Like, get down and try to, like, pull Valana free, is what I'm trying to do at the moment. Okay. All right. At the end of your turn, Norik is going to use the action, and... He moved. He moves. You see, he just unnaturally fast. <laughs> Damn it. You were about to try to target him, weren't you? I would have liked to have on my turn. I don't think I can get an angle on him from here. I can shorten that wall. Hey, man, and you do your... You do I your was work. going to anyway, and I was going to shorten yeah. it from the end. I would help you. Well, I go first. Dead. You do. Fire is dead. Soulstone is Soulstone. It's Norik's turn. Hey. <laughs> oh, fuck. This does not, not seem good. I'm about to feel like turning tail and uh, hiding in Vasani's cube, but... <laughs> yeah, you're the three probably closest to getting to him, so uh, let's go with... Does he have anything that is that far? Nah, he's just going to do a couple Elder Righteous blasts at you. Eldritch Blast, okay. Eldritch and as, far as we know, and as far as we know, there's nothing. Wow. It's... No crits, unfortunately. Unfortunately? Yeah. Whose side are you on? I, I, do need, I will really? need to make a... He's on the side of an interesting story. Yeah. I know. I... I don't think he can roll higher than a 10, so I'll just go ahead and, uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh! I passed the constitution check. Huzzah. Alright, that is his turn. Vlana um, is... I will, I will take the opportunity to bamf. Oh, will you? Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. In bamf uh, territory ooh. already. Well, only to, uh... Avoid having all of our healers in one spot and getting wiped out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's fine. You know, within shield territory. And out of, uh, out of counterspell distance. <laughs> uh, yeah, but but I don't want to get closer to him, do I? I mean, I don't think you have a choice. 
<laughs> You're gonna get close to him. He's gonna get closer to you. I'm gonna choose the one that seems like it won't kill me quickly. <laughs> uh, Valana looks at you, Ash. Um, should we should we get closer? Uh, she's still restrained. Yeah. <laughs> If I can hear that, I'm going to say no. <laughs> but if I can't hear that, I don't say that. Hey, you're pretty far away. There's All right. A I say nothing. And... We'll try and get you to move on. <clears throat> to stay with me. Volana reaches out to grab you and is going to cast Dimension. Oh. And yeah, 500 I feet. Suspicion that, I have a strong suspicion that uh, this is what you just said. No. No? Okay. Yeah, she grabs you, Ash. Are you willing to go with it? Maybe this one? Uh, yeah, I guess oh. so. You both bamf right up to your dad. <laughs> Uh, her action is going to be to. He's probably is, definitely within range now. Uh, is Dimension Door not a, uh, not an action? I believe it. You know, it is. Uh, it is an. Action. So yeah, she's done. Uh, but she is no longer restrained because she. Uh, I I always confuse Dimension Door and Misty Step for some reason. Uh, yeah. I I remembered I remembered you you did that uh, in one of the previous sessions and I was like mm, yeah. I thought that was the okay. yeah she bamps you straight to straight to Luvon. Marcus you're up. Marcus is like uh, uh not really able to do much about the ghostly hands at his feet. Marcus is instead just going to uh, look at Luvon and attempt to target the soul stone on his chest, and he will cast Dispel Magic. Ooh. Oh, what's the range? 120 feet. Are you within? I'm within 100. All right, absolutely. Um, go ahead and roll a Dispel check. It is a ninth level spell. All right. Hey. Yeah, that does it. Hey. Well, yeah. You nice. all note watch as the t -t 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 energy crackles and the stone in the center of well, I mean some of you most of you could see. I don't know the round back it's a great view. But the stone <laughs> goes dark for a second and he looks around. <clears throat> that means a little. Marcus is just gonna call out, you might not get it, but we're trying to help you. Romba yells back, well, he is. Hey. Not bad. Uh, that is that is the uh, that is the exchange currently. Yeah, abjuration shield gains six HP. Very very effective at keeping one or both of us alive. Um, hey Marcus. Yo. Remind me, what's your biggest AOE? It's probably is it fireball? fireball. Probably. Let me see. Um. <laughs> yeah. Realistically, it's going to be fireball. Uh, the most. Oh, this is a legendary action. One. As his legendary action, you see, you say, "We're trying to help you," and his face, <laughs> and his clothes, and his entire demeanor shifts into yours. Even the sword in his hand turns into the staff in yours. And you, you say back to yourself, I don't need your help. Uh, Marcus, could you target yourself and Medrash with a, let's say, do, 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 um, oh, did it not do this? Oh, you're going to be fine, because... If so. it's Marcus rolling damage, it's going to be all ones. <laughs> well, yeah, but if it's me rolling damage, all the ones are twos. At least as long as it's fire. Um, that said, I would like to uh, distance spell counterspell him 
as my reaction. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so he was targeting you with a probably fifth level spell. All right. Yeah, because of the way warlocks are. He's not a warlock. He is a warlock, but he's not a warlock. Right. I hope you haven't given him, like, infinite spell slots, then, as a result of being able to change into us. No, he'll have as many as we have, collectively. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't like that. Nice. That means he can cast Mend. Oh, no. <laughs> not that Mend. Does, that do, you do counterspell fake Marcus. Yeah. Nice. Any of you now... watching sort of see... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> he is you. He's a... But he hasn't taken a bonus action but to do that. he hasn't taken a bonus action to do that. Yeah. Alright, he cannot distant counters. A. Yeah, alright. <clears throat> yeah, you guys see as sort of the fireball flies out, um, like a sort of like, almost like intangible dark strand of energy sort of whips out from Marcus's uh, gloved hand, um, and the counter spell sort of launches out from slightly farther away from him to make the fireball go kaput. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, now uh, it is Medrash's turn. Abjuration Shield gets eight more HP, so that's a. Uh, it's up to fourteen now. Nice. Nice. I am shortening. Oh, that's by twenty, not by ten. Here, we are, ten. Uh, and shorten it from that side, so uh, a certain Ronbat has a better shot. Uh, I see Norik, right? Yeah, totally. And he's within sixty feet of the wall, so he's gonna eat forty-eight mm -hmm. uh, after a range attack. The walls are down. Yeah. Rumba's probably not gonna be taking a shot. Uh, nice shot. Uh. Couldn't go sulk. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I, I say I, I say I'm gonna go sulk. I'm just gonna try to distance myself a little further, so that hopefully we don't bunch up in a way that another fireball could uh could kill us. All right. Anything else, Medrash? No, I kick a rock over into the oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> he hits the wither cultist. Oh yeah, oh, he is boy, still I down wish. there somewhere, isn't he? I wish. Fuck him up, abjuration shield. This guy. Oh man, look at that juicy restrained wizard in the back. He sure looks targetable. I'm gonna <laughs> hop down to this ledge here. Oh, I didn't know that was a ledge. Yeah, there's a little ledge there. It goes sure, up maybe sure. like five feet. Uh, and Medrash is finally in range of a normal attack. A normal attack. This guy might actually be able to not hit oh, one time, is this be the one time that they roll well. <laughs> Natural <laughs> 20, baby. I'm already down to Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no! I mean, oh man. It's <laughs> not like we just all my reaction. Oh, sure. They crit on a 20, but they won't jam on a 2. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Well, at least it was not that bad. Top of the turn. Ron Bat, you're up. Why is the first crit of the night the enemy, and it's an ad? Hey man, we've had really good I would good rather an ad so crit than the boss. Point of order. Yeah. After he casts the fireball, he goes back. Okay. Uh, so it's uh, no longer Marcus. Ooh, He's concentration. No yep. Alright. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Gotta roll it. I'm going to... It's kind of get behind the chain real quick, take some cover, and... It'll give you plus two. Yeah, and just take the shield off. Okay, that is your action, action, unfortunately. And then as a bonus action, I'm gonna load the revolver. 
Armor. Okay. Uh, do adjust your armor class, please. Yep. All right. Cool. 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 Ronbat has to reload for the first time. He's <laughs> <laughs> just been rocking uh, Cosmo guns for ninety percent. <laughs> Not really. Medrash. You could do got to roll concentration. Oh uh, yeah, Medrash. You do have to yeah, roll thank concentration. You. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, make sure You're looking for a that. ten. I know. I believe. I don't trust myself to. Yeah, I don't trust myself. I should to roll not have that. believed. Oh man. Have, when have I ever rolled consistently well? Never. Dude, I feel you. Those concentration saves are the worst. I know. Wait, oh, hold on, hold on. I forgot. I Just took hear that... from the abyss. I know. I took the Eldritch Mind thing. Oh! Uh, and because I couldn't copy-paste as much as I wanted from that. It is in my uh, character sheet. I didn't just add it right now. So I have advantage. Have advantage. I have advantage, so I will try again. Uh, I did delete. The, oh, that did, was your invocation that you took, wasn't it? That was that was one of them I took, and uh, you you ruled that I could oh, also yeah you out. replace the one. How that much of the wall was left? A, 40, 50. Uh, 50, 50 feet. Yes, I got it. It was like right there. I, I got it. Oh, yeah. You that got way it. I can control it. Okay, cool, cool. Type, type, it type. was roughly like that. Not quite, but like right there. No, oh, hold on. It, Definitely. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say it had one of the pirates. It had a couple uh, of pirate pirates. four and had pirate four and three definitely within it. So maybe yeah. like that. Uh, sounds right. Cool. I thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Although I remembered the advantage thing myself. God. Yeah. Concentration. Uh, also, I looked at Chester. I'm like, can you can, can you do that? Can you turn into one of us? Just shakes its chest. One of us. Shakes its chest. Thought I'd check. Good boy. Well, some people pay money for that. Alright, uh, Vasani, it is your turn. Uh, one second. There's... Yet again, I've taken the most damage out of everyone. Well, you will be receiving some minor help currently. I'm going Ready. to use my action and bonus action to dash. Oh, you're just booking it. Yep. I'm going to get this man in a cube. Get this that... man in a cube. It's very <laughs> helpful. Get to this man a cube. I was, I was going to ask you if you could run over so I could also get in the cube later. Well, yeah. The cube train See, is going on, around the stadium. Or arena. What, what, what I now plan on doing is actually uh, something that's going to be really helpful, I hope. Can you, like, stick your arm out of the cube to cast? Uh, I can fly out 10 feet, fly back 10 feet. It's true. You say it doesn't stop that's movement. All my actions. I love it. And I'm yeah. gonna feed my cat real quick. But feel free to carry on for a minute. But all I right. may not hear what's being said. The lair's turn. Um, Ron Bat, roll a D4 for normal, please. Yes, that's a one. Or no? Is it a yeah? You don't no. know what that means. Huh? I mean, saying we don't know what that means. The layer action, we're not going to be happy with it regardless. Yeah, fair. That depends. Am I still restrained? You hear oh, a voice from beneath you. Your master needs aid. Right. And? And that cultist voice got deep. Back. I was going to say that boy. <laughs> He's calling himself a master now. We can't all be uh, submissives. That's statistically no. speaking, I don't think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> all 
All right. And uh, boom. A ghostly gunner. No, ghost. A handful more men, a ghostly pirate, appear and sort of just apparate on the strange stone bone things. <laughs> um, conveniently, it's Ghostly Gunner One's turn now. Y'all like, oh, y'all Am I still no restrained, right? though? Huh? I thought you didn't need help. You are not restrained. Hey. I thought you said you were going to take care of this yourself. These gunners ain't so bad. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the spirits let go as they are called to do a more active uh, portion of battle. Um, Ghostly Gunner 1 is absolutely in range, is going to take the bonus action aim. Oh boy. I'm about to die, aren't I? Hmm. Yeah, he's gonna aim. At... He's gonna aim at Medrash or Vasani? Question. Aim at Marcus. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a d6. <laughs> one, two, three, Marcus. Or one, two, Marcus. Three, four, Vasani. Five, six, Med. Sorry, my trash. <laughs> Can't argue with that. You were going to roll for it. I'm like, I'll just take the damage. Like, I knew that this was going to happen. <laughs> Whenever you leave it up to chance, I get hit. Yep, yep. Yep, of course. Of course. I mean, Without the advantage, I might have. If that were true, you would always be hit. Can you heal yourself? Right. I could. Decision, heal thyself. If I get the option. Barely. All right. Skeletal Pirate 2 is alive. Is alive. Because... Oh, and it gets to shoot at Medrash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep, this is an attack at Medrash. Does it hit? <laughs> Medrash. Uh, you gotta stop getting hit, man. Sonny, do you have a healing? Oh, no. Me? Yeah, I, I knew I wouldn't be downed. Uh, Alright, it's Levon's turn. It's Chester's turn. Skeletal Pirate 5 is dead. Ash, your turn. Right, dragon so down, we just... Dragon down! I said I had taken the, the majority of the damage. I was not lying. We uh, just teleported over here, so what's the situation on Levon? Is he chained up, or is he just Levon laying there unconscious? Is laying there unconscious on, like, a makeshift sort of altar, like... Uh, you could he, free his him? His body is covered in scars and laceration. He looks fucked up. Not dead. Hmm. Just hurt. In fact, you could say you've seen this before. He's in the cursed sleep. Ah. Uh. If you free him, can Balana like bamf him out next? Well he he wasn't restrained, right? He's just laying on top of it. Yeah, he's just laying on an altar. I mean free her. Oh, no, she's not restrained anymore. Yeah, we teleported. Yeah, she, she wasn't restrained anyway, and she wouldn't be now, even if she still she was were. restrained. And she wouldn't be, yes, true. Can you get him out of here? Not out, out, but... I'll get him far away. Into the cube. Good enough. I, yeah, I can get it, well... I can get him behind the cube. <laughs> <laughs> And then drag him into the cube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get him over to them, they can help. Um, remind me, remind me, Zach, um, so Marcus dispelled on the soul stone. What, remind me again what that does. Uh, essentially for a round, the soul stone is down. 
so that Norik wouldn't regenerate. So that Norik, well, no, yeah, he's vulnerable. He's vulnerable to damage. To people other than you. Gotcha. Anyone hasn't, other than you can damage him. Hasn't mattered much yet, but it is a thing. Because <laughs> everyone's too busy fucking dying. Well, they should stop. I tried, to hit, I tried to hit him to get take advantage of the fact that, you know, spell salts had been used. Alright. Um, Ash, uh, what are you doing? Yeah, um, da -da 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 -da. I'm going to, I think I'm going to try and draw Norik's attention. I'm going to, like, walk towards him and just start firing off shots. All right, roll to hit. And I'm aiming for the soul stone. Yeah. You start to shout out and he turns. Norik! Oi! All right. Uncle. Now this is disadvantage against Norik's AC. Is that how disadvantage this works? against the Soul Stone. Okay. The Soul Stone is yeah. right next. You can to leave it in the corner, or the corner. I can use the combat track or whatever. What is that? What is what? Now, uh, the music you can't hear. Oh. Oh, right. Uh, sorry. Uh, bonus action. I would have cast um, Hunter Smart. Okay. I seem to have lost my button for Hunter Smart. Okay. There we go. Not awesome damage. But... What'd you say, Yagi? Damn, Marcus. Didn't know you gave lessons. Tee -hee. Can you teach the enemies first? Hey, man. I'm <laughs> accurate. I just can't deal damage. Uh, I'm going to Asterisk. action surge yeah. and attempt to keep dealing damage while I got Hunter's Mark up. Nice. All right, do it. 18 seriously misses. Ugh. This stone has way too much AC. <laughs> I think it's fine. That's a perfectly normal amount of AC to have. For a tiny, tiny rock. There we go. And da, 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 da. right, it's damaged now. Sha. Nice. Hey, that's not bad. Action surge again. <laughs> <laughs> Mega surge. All right. End of your turn. Is it the end of your turn? Uh, I'm gonna say Norik. There's something you should know. Oh. And that's that. I I'll end it there. You're Get him dick too. small. <laughs> and he zooms forward. Fucking call him Uncle Norik. That'll get him. What is it that I should child? Is he going to attack? Uh, no, he can't get next to you. He's just using his secondary action to move closer. Nah, yeah. then I'm going to hold off till my next turn to tell him. All right. he, he's about to take another Good. turn, though. Dead. Hey, Nork, how dead. do you keep a fool in suspense? I might tell you next round. Oh my god. He... More importantly, he sees Volana right. trying, like, grabbing his brother. Um, He doesn't like that. Oh. 
to see. This is what I was afraid of. Get away from him! Hey, you got a cone of cold Luvon? Bruh. I'm going to try and... <laughs> is there a cone that Back up! Hit? Back up! Can, can he angle it down? Yeah, he'd probably need bit? to, like, move upward. I think he would need to move to be able to do that. fly currently. Well, no, I mean, Wait, upward as in northward. He, yeah, he hasn't used his movement for his turn yet. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, that should be good. There we go. And yeah. Get away from him. And yeah, he's gonna blast the two of you with a cone of cold. Eh, well, maybe not. Step one back. Yeah, if he hadn't traveled as far, even. And I would also, run. your cone was like starting five feet away from his square, so if he yeah. bit over it, there like, you yeah. go. Now just move it down a little. There, there you go. go. There we go. All right. There is a world in which I can. <laughs> There's a world in which you have spatial awareness. <laughs> I do have to check, Number actually, because there's a bit of fuckery going on. Does he have, have that? Welcome back. Yes, The thing is. I was afraid of happening is happening. Yeah. I see a 60-foot cone. I know what Volana that is. Volana is going to try and counter. Nice, nice. This is, this is, so this is against away. a fifth-level spell. She's now going to do a fifth-level counter spell? Um... You know, can she afford to do that is the real question. I was going to say, she still needs to get out. She I absolutely... Think she, I think she can. Good. She's I gonna think eat, she yeah, she's going to she's, She sees this and is like, I got to get out of here. This is bad. She's going <laughs> to use a fifth level counter spell. Bunty, 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 bunty. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. The least exciting, most useful spell. Yep. So we get counterspell chains where everyone's counterspelling everyone else. Yep. This is when I would counterspell if I and had weirdly, it. <laughs> the initiative works out just perfectly, so he can't take a legendary action to try and do it again. Nice. Do do magic the Gathering? And as Valana grabs Luvan, Hi. she casts her second to last uh, fourth level spell. Ah, uh, she's chilling. And Dimension Doors with Luvon. Here. Nice. And then I'm uses ten feet of movement to drag him <laughs> into the queue. <sighs> we got him! He can still get shot. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Thank you. Uh, at I the end of her turn, Norik screams out in fury and approaches you, Ash, using one of his legendary actions. Uh oh, oh, he's, he's approaching, approaching me. Hmm? <laughs> he is approaching oh. you. I was muted. Sorry. Yes, I said the exact same thing as you, though, Joel. <laughs> Marcus, <laughs> your turn. It's me. You're, it's your Man, knee. you're in a situation. Let me tell you. Yeah. Uh, also, you still have the restrained condition. Yeah, I do, but I'm oh, not. Dresh went down. Oh, well, got sorry. Him. I will take yes. that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I know that you didn't have control over that. So. Gunners. Oh, bullets. Yep. His one weakness. <laughs> Let's see. Which of these pirates are alive? I mean, you know what I mean. Um. Two and one. Uh, I'm just gonna take away ones and add later in approximately Thanks. their locations. This is by no One means definitive yet, but I'm just checking some things. I'm just checking some things. These Bro, are intriguing things that I'm seeing. Especially if it's 25. <laughs> it's just for reference. Yeah. Initial <laughs> results prove promising. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so again, at the end of your turn, uh, uh, the soul stone does come back. 
Okay. Well, that's, that's at least it's at the end of my turn. <laughs> hey. All righty. Let's see here. Because that was the last turn, right? Yeah, that was my last turn. Okay. This didn't quite go how I wanted it to, but that's okay. That's fine. You and um, me both, buddy. <laughs> Let me check the wording on something. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to actually use the Staff of Power to cast Fireball at 5th level. <laughs> Love it. Stuff. Yeah. Is that a 20 or 25? I always thought it was 25. It's 20. Ah, well that. Uh, so. I'm uh, I'm moving up ever so slightly. Moving on up. Moving, moving on up. up. Um. And here we go. Good. Hey. Yeah, I think we can make this work. Maybe dice on the damage. We'll take the damage. Yeah. <laughs> Instant death. <laughs> a lot of twos in there. Not a fan of twos. <laughs> what do you mean? It's a classic mark of fireball. <laughs> I, say, I don't know why you cast over like fourth level because it always works out to be almost the same number. <laughs> the Staff of Power has one setting for fireball. Ah. <laughs> Max. <laughs> right. So, at the end of your turn, Marcus? Yes. Uh, Norik is going to use one of his... Or actually... Didn't he already use it? Probably has more than one three. legendary action. He's going to use two legendary Ah, mm. uh, he gets three per round, I forgot. <laughs> hey, Medrash. I'm unconscious. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to involve you. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Could you just make an attack roll against as your dragonborn friend approaches you with a harpoon drawn? Oh, um, what is your bonus to attack, actually? Bonus to attack, uh, is plus nine. Add one. Oh, boy. Oh, no, he's you, but stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do I get to roll shit, too? Because it is me doing this. Uh, two hands, right? <laughs> Let's hope. Two hands. Yeah. So you watch as Medrash approaches you. Okay. Oh wait, I'm I'm rolling this, big, but because I'm unconscious. It, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm using I that you still hit. hit. Okay. I will. Oh yeah, I guess it didn't. Yeah, matter. both yeah, hit and neither is a crit, so it really doesn't make a difference. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. Doesn't really. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. um, Eldritch Smite, remind me how that works. You may mm -hmm. uh, spend a spell slot to do it. Okay, uh, so he's Eldritch. going to Eldritch Smite her. And you can only do so once per round. Yes. So if you would mind, do you, is is it possible for you to roll a fourth level? Fourth uh, level? A fourth level uh, Eldritch Smite. Uh, I can... Uh, but I have to roll damage first, because this is on top of regular damage. And to do a fourth level, I will have to remove the dice. Uh, one second. Five. Four. What kind of damage is Eldritch Smite? Is it just Four. force? Force. The thing uh, that nobody's immune to. I had to. I have to remove the old damage. Sorry, I could have also just done it. You are also knocked prone, unfortunately. Is there, there is no save? Pain. No. There is no save. Grody. I, that means that if I could have gotten close to him to start with, this would have been better. So yes, Ash. Medrash approaches you, and you see the harp hums for him. Anything you want to say to him? Uh, I mean, I'll say it when I get back up. He stabs you in the fucking chest. Just levels stabs me. stabs you 
and a blast of pain energy just <laughs> catapults you into the floor. And he shifts back. And you're the first one to be up close when he does this. You notice. You look at Medrash, and one of the things that you notice that is off is that there is still the rope around Medrash's neck. Uh, that Luvan, or not Luvan, uh, Nor has. Like the, oh. like the mark where he was like hanged? Hang, like a hangman's noose mark. His purse mark. His, yeah. And so is he perfectly copying me for this round? He is, his... uh, he, he copy and then shifts. Okay. So, full disclosure, he can attack a second time. Hmm? Probably not with the legendary action. No. Oh, maybe good. he can. Good. Uh, okay. let, me, let me make my death saving throw, because that's what I'm doing. Hey, good news, there's a healer in the box. <laughs> there is. And I succeeded at that. I bleed out slightly less. Alright. Fuck him up, Abjuration Shield. Gunner. Two. Hey, Marcus! Hello! Oh, that should have been an advantage. I will. Uh, what, did he aim? Aiming. He is aiming. They aim. Well, unless it's a crit. Okay, so 24. Lol, you thought that hit? Shield. The shield, alright. <laughs> uh, Abduration shield gains. Two. Okay, so it is. Okay, back. yeah. Back. Skeletal Pirate 1. Can you just die, dude? <laughs> Keeps trying. Uh, he's going to take a disadvantage shot. Yes, I guess. Because you seem like the coolest person to kill. Yeah, no. His gun jams this time. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> look at that! Oh. Round back. <laughs> he's telling us to kill it, for God's sake. Uh... Okay. I am going to... Welcome to the stream, if you're new here. Uh, uh, we have a bit of a finale night, so it's kind of a special episode. Yeah, I'll um, dash in to the queue. Welcome. welcome I managed Squidward. to get myself in a little bit of a pickle, I do, but I it's do. for a good reason. I'm going uh, to take a shot at here. Gunner 1. The Captain Levon is uh, my character's <laughs> father. Man. Ash could really and use some backup over there. Fortunately, the <laughs> no fella kidding. in front of me, Nork, is uh, my uncle. I can't help because the stone's still up. Family reunions are always terrible. It's just right? unfortunate. <laughs> uh, once the stone is done, I can do things. Uh, all right, so I'm going to take a shot at Gunner 1. When did these gunners show up? Was that the lair? There was yes. the lair. Action. Okay. Ooh. Partially moved to lightning. Yes. Um, hmm. Have you ever tried to electrocute a ghost? I haven't, actually. <laughs> now you have. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. How did it how did changing the damage type work? Uh, bonus action. Bonus action. I did dash, dash. even as a bonus, so I can't use it now. Let me just make sure that I needed to dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Ah, oh, I'd be one square off if I didn't. Did you need to be in that square? I would have been here. Oh, never mind. Could shoot the skeleton. He probably has like six HP. 
kill the pirate. Yeah. Pretty sure they sit pretty at like ten plus. Yeah, that's like a free grit point. It's yeah. fine. I guess it is a free grit point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more scared that if we kill all of them, suddenly something triggers. <laughs> You're afraid of triggers. You kill one thing and then the to join. We have to kill them all, otherwise they'll come back with a vengeance. Hey, I'll shoot a skeletal pirate one. You know, never turn down a free grip point. <gasps> wow. A <laughs> fight hit that <laughs> You get a grip point back. I do get a grip point free back. Grip point. I'm assuming you're going to get a second one back here in a second. God forbid you don't kill it. That would be impressive. Hey. Very close. Very close. <laughs> I'm back up to full grid points. Nice. What a guy. Nice. All right, anything else, Ron Uh, I will look down into the abyss and flip the guy that's falling off. off. <laughs> you, you, you look down and you see something there. You're not sure what it is. I flip it off. No, the ship's above us, not below us. The ship is above you. It's just a beholder down there going, what the fuck, man? Oh, right. <laughs> space, space is below us, right. I said I wouldn't try to think about this. And it's come back to bite me. <laughs> space is below you. The Earth is above you. Space! Everything's all topsy-turvy. This uh, uh, Chester falls into the void. No! <laughs> Chester mimics the void. <laughs> void looks back. Void's like shit. I want a cool mimic familiar. Sunny. If. So what are we going to do about this whole Ash being by herself situation? That's a good question. Are just letting that happen? Or... No, but there are very few things we can do from here. Well, Unless you could get closer. It and it's happened, then you then see, that'd be difficult. I guess when she's the only one that can damage the fucking stone. It does cause some amount of problems. Why are y'all in the cube anyway? He's focused on me. <laughs> uh, because two of them were in the cube. One of them's unconscious. Yeah. She teleported with Luvon into the cube and Ronbat ran into it. I'm not in the cube. Exactly. You aren't. I'll, I'll give you credit for that. I, can, I don't need to be anywhere. I can be where we first started and still hit things. I don't, I don't get credit for, you know, being in there because I'm forced to. I said you were unconscious. I didn't. I didn't discredit oh, no, Levon for being in there. So fair. All right. Well. Oh, he's. He can't hear us. He said he was going to be away from his computer for a bit, right? Oh no, I'm back. Oh, okay. Um. I'm gonna turn around and say to Valana. Can you get Medrash and then yeah, Duck or something? Him. Can you All get right, him? good. Who's him? She looks at Luvon. Luvon. Oh. Um, I can. Just gonna call over, who's getting Ash? <laughs> if you get the stone again, I can take care of, no I can help take care of Norik. Currently, Norik's getting Ash. <laughs> uh, get, the, so, get the stone down, yeah, and I got... Actually, I'm... Vasani, uh -huh. you ask. And she's like, I have to go help Ash. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, Valana, if you're going, Be careful. you can take somebody else with you. Case. One of 
with he you. He's actually bleeding out on the ground. That is okay. how dying is considered. You got potions? Yep. No, I don't. You're about to have I one. I spent in all your mouth. of them. <laughs> I will use my bonus action to have Medrash take a drink. Oh. Yeah, Medrash a chug. Yeah. All right. Roll for it. Uh, it's 2d4, right? Plus 2? Uh, 2d4 plus 2, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Have some of that. Medrash, you gain a dank 7. Hey, I'm Not happy dying. about it. I can see! Oh, I can see. fight! Can fight. Ghostly Gunners. Oh, he's getting back up. Shoot him again. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot his ass. Hey, he's still prone. Yeah, what they don't know he's up yet. Yeah. What is Sebastian's turn, too? The lair attacks Medrash specifically. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I really You're right looking now. down into the void. I was going to ready way. my action to shoot Nork if he gets dispelled again. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I love it. And suddenly. Oh. Oh. Charming. I was very zoomed in. That caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> you all notice those stars. Not stars. Their eyes. Someone is watching. Is he like smiling the whole time like that? Or? He is grinning from ear to ear. Because he looks real stupid. He. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and I should actually do the lair action. Um, yeah. Oh, I um, thought that was the lair action. Conjure face. Conjure face. It's my favorite <laughs> spell. That's a, that's a little eight spell. Hmm. Um, we're going to go with... Shoot actually, Marcus. Yeah. No, that is the lair action. We'll go with that. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Oh, Mercy yeah, from the DM. Yeah. <clears throat> However, someone is going to shoot Marcus. Uh, they're not going to shoot. They're going to shoot Ronbat. Uh, they're going to take a bonus action to aim. Sorry. They Mike. don't know what type of barrier this is. They, they've already proven well, that. They've they already can... shot Medrash through it. Yeah. <laughs> In here. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's not great. Uh, Man, shame you're in the cube and I don't have a reaction. Whoa! Ow. 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 Yeah. What? What Ow. the heck? Big damage. Those crit dice almost got max. <laughs> that's a big hit. <laughs> Alright, but that's it. Move on. Dead. Chester. Dead. Ash! Dead. <laughs> Shoot the stone! Point blank. Get uh, the fuck out! I'm gonna... Fuck the shit I'm, gonna... I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm push myself up game. from prone. I assume that's half my, half my movement. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna... You see, he stands there with a cutlet that seems to be shifting. Big. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm gonna, like, cough. <clears throat> you suck at mimicking. Medrash is not that good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man! Damn. <laughs> Let's see. I find that offensive. And let's see. I'm in melee range, so I can't. Sh well, you if I shoot, I'm gonna be at disadvantage good. anyway. If I'm aiming for the soul stone, right? <laughs> That's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah, it, there's functionally <laughs> no difference to shooting uh, him point blank in the chest. Can uh, wait? Geez, dude. <laughs> no. Chain of rogue. 
Oh, right, 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 right. I keep forgetting because she can bonus action dash and do shit. Yeah, that's so, fleet right. of foot. Hold on, I forgot. I do need to make a con save to keep up uh, Hunter's Mark there. Yeah, I believe he dealt, what, like 90 damage? No. Let's see. There's 20. There's 15. 35. 35. So half of that, 17. 17, exactly. You do need to make a 17 con. I believe. All right, I have a 25% chance to make it. Because I got right. plus one to the save. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time. Wow. <laughs> At least it was just Hunter's Mark. Your Hunter but... Mark's Oof. Oof. Okay. I guess there's nothing stopping you from just putting it back on. Oh, other than spell slots. But well sure. Uh at the moment I've got plenty. Um I am going to. All right, I'm going to make my first shot at the soul stone. Hold it. Wait, wait, wait. Do I want to? Yes. Break the stone. <laughs> it's the only way oh. we can. Any of us can help you. Or you could get closer and. <laughs> Help me by pulling some. We can't get closer that fast. <laughs> like, yeah, this it is would be several way. turns. Other than the lot. I'm, I'm not. I don't want to take my chances flying over the face now. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna lick your booty if you pass by. Yeah. <laughs> be like, <laughs> you know what? Uh... Stupid sexy Flanders. Okay, I'm I'm gonna try to to get some distance here. I'm just gonna circle him a little bit with the rest of my movement, and then I'm gonna say also Medrash loves water, and I'm gonna smash the pellet <laughs> <laughs> between us. Oh, oh man! Wrong. So, Zach, this is a fifteen foot cube of water. That's a lot of water. It is a lot of water. In fact, I've done the math on this. This is about 108 tons of water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Yep. Well, that is kind of how that works. They're getting their face all wet. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm asking you if I can smash this and just kind of ride the blast front towards the uh this Towards away from him as the water like splooshes outward Cowabunga, dude <laughs> <laughs> i love it yes. you absolutely i'm gonna need hmm. the face to make a gun saving throw to not drown <laughs> i'm gonna have norik make a strength saving throw or he's gonna get He's gonna what? Sorry, you cut out. Get washed uh, away. He's gonna get washed away. Washed away. Okay. Washed away. Uh, Fifteen was what I was looking. For. He does stand his against all of that water, but however, you, you get pushed back fifteen feet. We'll call it twenty. Because you're willingly doing so. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of riding the wave. Yeah, I'm basically trying to surf that front. So yeah, twenty twenty is fine. I mean, I wasn't expecting a huge amount. Okay. Yeah. Was that an action to break that? It was the action to break. Yeah, that was my yes. action. But I do have a bonus action dash. So you didn't break. You also still have your movement. I used I half my movement to get up, and then another fifteen feet to move to the side there. Okay. Yeah. It was. Okay. It was. In effect, a way to uh, not provoke an attack of opportunity, but also, actually, you gain some distance. Yeah, you gain yeah, some distance no. by breaking that. Yeah, no, that was a that you was absolutely a did. Yeah, yeah, there was a point. You disengaged in style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and then let's see. 
I get. So. Two there. Uh, and then, oh, no. I use my bonus action, so no second, or, yeah. Yep, that is gonna be me. All right. Norik. Ooh, that was a jank back and forth movement he made there. Yeah, that's like 15 feet of his movement to dance around like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> and he's exactly within range. It's perfect. Oof. Like oh boy. I didn't say you could leave. And he is going to uh, cast a spell. Sad. Don't have reaction. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. yeah, he absolutely casts. Uh, sorry, I got to pull up his stat block. <clears throat> Does he have the dank spell? Oh, music is off. Oh. Y'all are getting music? Yeah. Just because you're, you're boring <laughs> doesn't mean we have to be. I actually looked at Pretzel and it has like a epic or dramatic music channel, which I might have considered using if it wasn't a uh, paid subscription to access that one. Yeah. Oof. Money. The Shanty too? Yeah, no, he, uh... <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> he's, he's just gonna... Don't do it. It's your niece. I'll be honest, don't know that he'd care. I mean, hey. Spell. Hold on. Sorry. Taking almost as long as I did. <laughs> Sorry, that's more an Thank indictment you. of me than you. I'm pulling up yeah. boss music back. Here we go. It's Thank you. the same as what, what was already playing. Yeah, just sad. Morose. Yeah, he is going to use his uh, fourth level spell slot. Okay. It's only fourth level. I'm going to cast Blight. Ooh. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, Ash, make a con save. There are worse spells. Famously good at these. Hey, actually not bad. Actually good. Today. You probably needed that. Yeah. That's a failure. Yep. Oh, I won. What? I knew it. But it's yeah. DC is 18. It's quite possible. You're going to take... Yeah, from earlier. 32 what? damage. <gasps> Jesus! You're at Christ. one! That is... Yes. That is true. Literally at one. <laughs> That's all you need. Because you down. did not roll that on me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. For whatever reason. All right. I added yeah. it. I'll add it there. Yep. Well, that's a nice dramatic value. I love you, but you should have asked me to shot stuff. I'm guessing there's another dank uh, dimension door happening. Uh, putting uh, one of our only healers over there again. He, she looks at you, Ron Bat. Come with me. On it. She grabs you, pulls you out so that you can go. <laughs> and she dimension doors both of you right in front of Ash. That is her turn. Now, uh, Marcus. All right. How far is this man? All right. Oh, I'm no longer unconscious. Let's see here. 
I am going to use another sorcery point and distant cast summon elemental and summon a six level Barkus in between Norik and the, the goons. Oh, did Marcus dip a <laughs> did you dip a uh, level into sorcerer or is this a feat? No, it's a thing. Ah, something. nice. All right, so Barkus? Yes, yeah, a six level Barkus. <laughs> six level Barkus. Right in it's... front of Norik, you said? Yeah, I'm going to tell him to sick him. Which, uh, I, I, I want him to, to grab him, actually. Okay, uh, he goes immediately. Uh, right after my turn, which I will use the rest of to drop prone, because I don't want to be shot. Hit the deck. But that's all. Huh. This What's is up? a weird thing where Medrash, I'm just gonna drop you in initiative slightly just so to maintain <laughs> I'm fine with this. I understand. Yeah. Uh, I, Barkus... I already go last as far as the groups of eight who matter. Uh Barkus is gonna try and grab. Also quick thing, his stats are changed a bit because he's sixth level. Oh, okay. Um his AC is 17, his HP is 70, um, and he gets three attacks. Oh. Hey, hey, Zach. Yes. Can I ask you a question? And I'm sorry, because I th thought this was a thing, but I'm now I'm reading back over a spell description, and I'm not seeing What's that? it specified. Um, so when I leveled up, I took absorb elements that doesn't affect necrotic energy does it it does not okay it's not an element unfortunately yeah it is unfortunate the element of that yeah he also has a plus 10 on all of his damage rolls because he has uh the spells level plus his strength which is four okay. and a uh and his two hit is my spell attack modifier which is an 11 now um, right, but he's going I'm to use his turn. Me. Sorry, thank you. Uh, but he's going to use yes. Tight. I mean, he's going to use his turn actually instead of attacking, because I know that won't really do anything. Uh, he is going to use all of his attacks to first try to grapple Norik and then push him to the ground, just sort of grapple attempt. and restrain. Not restrain, but grapple and trip, more or less. Okay, so these are basically opposed athletics checks. Yes. And uh, Barkus's checks are just four, I believe, because he does. I will have you roll Barkus for me, please. Sure. All right. Grapple. Nork is grapplade. And uh, now the trip. No right. trip. Try the again. second trip. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, well, you're grappled. <laughs> <laughs> he is grappled. <laughs> Absolutely. Alright, that I is... I so much. He's going to take his legendary act. And just make an attack act. Uh, Marcus, no! <laughs> yeah, he's going to try and stab Barkus. How rude. Pain. <laughs> oh, what a guy. Is, that, is, Christmas. that is magic, unfortunately. Sorry, let me... Barkus should take all of that. Uh, no, he's uh, uh, he's not resistant to uh, any of that. If he were Earth, he'd be resistant to piercing and slashing of any type, but he's not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jiminy Christmas, though, that plus 12. You mean that thing that our ranged fighters have had for three levels? Plus 12 damage? I, I didn't notice that. Oh, no. To hit. Yeah, no. Oh, whatever. I mean, I've had it. Midrash. 
Uh, I sit up. I don't know what I should be doing right now because uh, magic against dork doesn't do anything right now, and I am bleeding out almost. So maybe use that dang heal. Yeah, so. on myself. Yeah, that's what I, that is precisely what I'm doing. Uh, right. Yeah. Could also heal the captain, or I mean, you could instead I, heal I the could, captain. But I am the healer. You do remember. Norik or uh, Luvan, God, I keep fucking switching them. Is is a spellcaster? Yeah, but I don't know if he can heal. Yes, you do. Do I? Yeah, yeah. he's, he, he's, he's been healed on, you guys before. He's oh. been on the boat. Uh, in that case, having action economy is a good idea. So I'm going to and bring Luvan up. If that's okay. If that's okay. Absolutely. Uh, I won't... I won't re-roll if you would rather. Uh, that, that is perfectly way. fine. Okay. Yeah, you heal, so, move on. Move over <gasps> here. Hey. <laughs> oh, I God. thought you might still be in the charmed sleep, but looks like not. Oh boy. Yeah, I hear him make sounds. I'm like, hey. Uh, <laughs> As I'm like going on? ducking ten uh, feet away. Casting spells. We're in a rough spot. Oh, it's coming our way. Currently shielded from spells, but uh, oh yeah, your brother here. I do. Yeah. Um. All right, let's go. He pulls out his cutlass. <laughs> Keep your head down, there, snipers. I I did I did tell him bullets are flying. Do you say prone? Uh, no, I, I got up so I could go to get him. You could, like, I... army crawl over. Or you could hit you know, the deck sure. after you move. And hit the deck. I'll, I'll hit the deck. All right. Just because I can't do anything uh, nice. from where I am anyway. Uh, Gunner 2, however, is mostly preoccupied with the dank wizard man and is going to take a, a an aimed shot at you, Mark. All right. I am prone, so that cancels oh, out. Okay, so that does cancel out. <laughs> Flies wide. Nice. Ron Bat, you're up. All right. Uh... Oh, actually, pause. Uh, he is going. Uh, Norik's going to take a let. He's going to stab Barkus again. <laughs> <laughs> My dog. Yes! Nice. Okay. Marcus! Yeah. Alright. Uh, Norik is what again? Restrained? Norik He's is grappled. restrained. Or grappled. Uh, the soul stone is still there. Yeah, yeah, but he's grappled right now, which means... It doesn't help you any. He just, he can't move mm -hmm. unless he does he something about the grapple. He does something. Yeah. Bad, like, kill the dog. Okay. Could take uh, out the gunners. Is he flying? No. He is he is land He's when bones. you saw him the first time, he was kind of like covered in He just looks like a dude. Alright, let's try to push him up the universe. Yeah, I let the face deal with him. Gonna move Pretty. over here. I'm going to shoot him with a forceful shot. All right, roll the hit. Um, da -da. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're it's shooting boring. Norik? Huh? You're shooting Norik? Yeah, I'm trying to shoot okay. him away from Ash. Bye, Marcus. Huh? Bye, Marcus would grapple. just lose the grapple. Yeah. Yeah, but then he'll be engaged with both of us, giving yeah. them more time to leave. That is good. It's my guess. I mean, things to do. he could just choose to ignore you. It's true. He can't That's choose like, to ignore the dog. He'd have to, you know, move. or. I mean, I can, do it, I can do it a couple times, though. Yeah. 
got a he's got damage defense up basically. If you can knock him over the edge, great. I don't know if it will work though. I don't know what else to do. That is fair. We are being annoyed by the ads with guns, which yeah. is the only other thing I might mention. Uh, okay. In that case, I'll get in front of him and shoot someone else. Yeah, I will like just have Chester hop over to Norik. Oh, okay. Yeah, Chester's on me. Yes. I'm like, all right, buddy, time to shine. I'm gonna take the help action. <laughs> um, can I try to do it with like a sleight of hand? What are you doing? What are you doing? Just like sneaking him into his coat pocket so he doesn't notice <laughs> <laughs> until attack happens. What if Chester likes him more? Man, this this ain't a coin. This is a gun. Well, Chester can turn into whatever he wants. He's a mimic. <laughs> Wait, could he turn into a soul stone? Could you become Norik? Oh my god. <laughs> You know, because he can bargain bin Norik. The text says <laughs> great the value Norik. He is indistinguishable from the real thing. So can we do that and say that Norik doesn't know about it if I slide of hand it? Mm-hmm. Make the roll. Yeah. Okay. You could always try. <laughs> that advantage? is a DM at the end of his wit. Would it be advantage because it's a mimic? What? Well, I don't think that's going to help you get him in there. I don't know. I have to ask. Power or... No! Roll it open, Mike. <laughs> oh. what, what decisions have we... Oh God, God fucking damn it. It's pretty good. <laughs> Was that I the DC you were thinking? If he gets a 25, I'll let him do it. You put him in the pocket. <laughs> 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 oh, amazing. oh, plus eight to slide of him, baby. Okay, I'm going to be honest. When I talked to people about uh, D and D, I said, "Yeah, this is what the cool stuff we've been doing in other campaigns." I don't really think that one of the things that I'd be saying normally would be, "Oh yeah," and in the middle of the boss fight, one of us does a reverse pickpocket and then put the mimic into, <laughs> into no. their pocket. I'm gonna shoot the gunner, uh, gunner one. I was just okay. gloating in the victory. Neat. Uh, uh, sadly, I didn't change it from. Oh, actually, no. Bonus action, change it to fire. Okay. See if that's any better. Roll a hit. I mean, they're ghosts. Oh, that's a mess. Hey. Fire? Not fire. I have figured. Have you ever You're... tried to burn a ghost? Yeah. Hey, man, I thought I'd check. <laughs> End of your turn. The hag of hag is Corey. Norik is going to stab <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, that's fair. Oh my god, you're so hurt. What are you doing? Yeah, well, he got, he, got, he got teleported over there against his own will. I was considering on no, healing him. He, he definitely was, was said my, okay. It was oh, my will, but... That's true. Ah, we needed ah. Ash to be alive. Alright. Round bat. That, that's all three. Sonny, it's your turn. Right? There is 24 health points remaining amongst the three of you, not including Barkus. <laughs> well, good thing Barkus is over there. Yeah. I will aim at Gunner 1 and take a shot. Thank you. Will it hit? <laughs> wow. Plus 13. Nope. Taking aim. 
turns out was a good idea. Ooh. Ooh. And that's me. That's you? Yep. All right. Everybody, make oh a deck save. No, oh, man. Are you, are you going to be dropping prone, Pizzani? No. I cannot. I, if you aim, you can't use your movement. Ah, uh, right. Um, you know, I, drop I wasn't prone. planning on moving anyway, I guess. <laughs> Well, yeah, neither was I, really. <laughs> hey! But, you know, it doesn't matter. Well, you have options, at least. Looks like I'm, uh... No, Barcus no, we don't have options. No, Barkus. is restrained. Um, um, Medrash, you are restrained. Luvon? Oh, yeah. Luvon is not restrained. Who what else got below an 18? Everyone but Ronbat. Everyone but Ronbat. <laughs> what about Chester? Chester's no, he doesn't know about of Chester, of remember? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, did I get everybody? I think I got everybody. I think yeah. so. Vizani, did I get you? No. Uh, I don't see an icon. Okay, there we go. I hate everything. <laughs> Ghostly Gunner 1 is going to take a shot at you, Vasani. Yep. Uh, so this is going to be uh, aiming, but it's also already at advantage because you are restrained. There's just no reason for them to move. Oh, no. Oh, no. I will be uncannily what? dodging that. Okay. Man, oh, it's yeah. a shame that there's a cube there. Why is that? Because I could help. With what? Oh, oh, wait. Well, it's half. Okay, so that is uh, uh, 19. 19. Can I still send Abjuration Shield through the thing, or is that... That's a like spell this? effect. No. Okay. Should really change the cube to nothing going through for like a turn and heal up. Well, I can heal him. So can Luvon. Yeah, Luvon is absolutely going to cast. He should have higher level spell stuff. A moment. You want to pop into the chat? We've we've leveled up a lot since uh Wait, Since no. we were running around with him. He has the same... He is the same... Uh, yeah. He, he's level 12, like you guys. Hey, we caught up. Okay. Uh, uh, but yes. I'm not sure boom, how much I was boom, at pop. before, but that should have only been 19 damage if I dodge. Okay. Yeah, but it still wasn't enough to dodge. Uh, it was still... Yet. Oh, was it? Figures. Yeah. Exceeded by 13, right? So but No, no, because it well, didn't so have his it... damage. Oh, no, you're right. Oh wait, yeah, that's how he math should be works. up by. He should be up with six left. He's up by six. Yeah, we're up at oh. six. So, ooh, so close. Do, 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 yeah. do, do. You have Huzzah. forty. Forty-six. Or forty-six damage on you. Okay, cool. You are not unconscious. Does not change what Luvan is going to do. Because he's going to hit you with a dank third level. Actually, probably do Medrash, since Medrash was like the one who got him up. But Vesan is the one holding up the cube. Uh, Medrash but is prone. Vesani is the one doing the cube. Yeah, he's do I'm also Vesani's the one shooting. Standing. <laughs> that too. You feel Luvon grab your ankle. Energy courses into you. That's his turn. Oh, thanks. Chester does the help action. <laughs> oh man. Ash, you're up. Oh boy. Shoot the stone. 
for Shooter. Shooter. Yeah, so I think uh, Chester has some weird sense. You see this chest, essentially the gun, the barrel of it flicks up and pulls on the uh, on the soul stone. Your attack will be at regular because Yay. he's helping you get the soul stone. Oh, maybe. <laughs> oh, thank God, just. Uh, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm restrained, so I'm gonna put it at advantage, and then it'll cancel everything yes. else. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Hey. Uh. Saw it linger on that four for a second there. I know. I, know. I was like, no. I was right there with you. Literally risking my life with this, Ash. Come on. Oh! Destroy uh, us! The explosion of the green magical energy can be. As the soul stone is destroyed. <gasps> Damn you! Damn you all to hell! And. Well, I'm gonna bonus action second wind for one. Yep. Second win is not a bonus action. Yes, it is. It is a bonus yeah, action. It is. Oh, yeah. No, I'm thinking of action surge. There we go. Action I... surge is not an action. Yep. Yeah. No. no. Oh. <laughs> Primo. You do Primo have a second attack. There. Sorry? It's true. You have a second attack, don't you? Yes, I do. Um... Man, you got that dang five HP that I Yeah. Uh <laughs> I'm gonna sh yeah, I guess I'm gonna Ooh. Wait, no, never mind. Crap. <laughs> I was going to use commander strike, then I re remembered that's a bonus action. You commander strike with a gun? No, I'm okay. I'm gonna make this attack. I'm gonna make it a disarming attack. So Ooh. if I hit Levon, I'm gonna attempt to knock the mercurial sword out of his hand. Okay. okay. Worth a shot. <laughs> I mean, I'd be happy oh. if that went through. Hang on. Crap. Is it... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Does it add to the attack roll or to the damage? I think it's to the damage. Yeah. Sorry. I should know my stuff better. Uh, does the follow-up shot also come at normal and not disadvantage? No, because it's helped. No, it's just the first one. Just okay. the one attack. Okay. Uh, I'm marked as restrained. Yes, I am. Okay. Can you Still hits. Nice. nice. Uh, so I'm gonna. I'm just going to use my Colossus Slayer to add that D8, but it's okay. my superiority um, die is a D8. Also, I apologize for the talking in the background. That's all good. good. I don't hear anything. I heard maybe a little Wow. Bit. Oh, no. <laughs> that is There's still the disarming effect. So he does have to make a save, right? Yes, it is. You can just choose to pass it. You should be able yeah. to code that in, if not already. 
What kind of save? I'm yeah. sure I could, okay, but now, let's see. Uh, maneuver save is 8 plus proficiency bonus plus strength or dex mod. I'm going for dex, so that comes out to 16. Well, what stand does he use? For that strength one. Probably strength. strength. Yep. Yep. Because you're Target not is one yet. bad save. Nice. Ooh. Wow. I mean, he's going to burn his free. second legendary resist because that yeah. is also wow. his casting foot. Uh, oh, damn. Yeah, not surprised. I yeah. mean, that's a good thing to burn it on. Hell. Yeah, he used it. I'm going to say, I say, if you kill me, you won't find out what I had to tell you. <laughs> I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> can I? Oh. Yeah, that, can that I, checks out. <laughs> can I turn into Levon and say, "Oh, I think you should." <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate. One. He's holding off a snarling dog. So <laughs> he's like, oh, well, "Maybe I do." Marcus. Actually, hold on. Sorry. I'm gonna just do a real quick thing, real quick. <laughs> Hashtag not like this. <sighs> yeah, totally. You feel something brush up and <sighs> you couldn't just leave well enough alone. <laughs> Marceline appears right next to you. <laughs> Dark fire bolt at uh, Norik. <laughs> wow. That was unexpected. I wave at her. Hi, Marceline. Yeah, she is. That's a hit. Nice. Oh, this didn't... Damn it. Balls shit. I must have done... I did something wrong. Hold on. No. Jesus. Joseph, Looks up. like you need some help. Ah. We might be fine, but appreciated regardless. All right, that is her turn. She drops greater invisibility or uh, lesser and bolts. <laughs> Norik, um. How close to Ash is North? Is the question. I think it's 30 or 25 feet. Hmm. He is going. I'm going to need you to make, let's call it, do, 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 where is it? A wisdom saving throw. <laughs> is this okay. a spell being cast or is this a different thing? This is, uh, Spooky ghost stuff. So Not the this spooky ghost stuff. Public or tower? Uh, public. You'll know what happens. He puts Chester oh. on you. You see his eyes go black as he stares at you. Well, tell me, what do you want? What should I know? And you feel some magic assault your brain. However, you shake it off. Uh, oh, oh, you... oh. Avoid his vengeful glare. He uh, stab stab at uh, Marcus and, or not Mark uh, Barkus and uh, Ron Bat. He gets stabby when he's angry. <laughs> Ow! Oh! oh. oh. 
Run, bat, no. That's rough, buddy. <sighs> I mean, I will... it's kind of going to happen. As he steps into me, I'll put an arm on his shoulder and go, you're still a bitch, and I flip him off. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Ronbat, no! Ronbat goes down. He's not dead. Valana is restrained, so she can't go with you. So, she is just going to cast... All of her stuff is AoE. <laughs> uh, there's, if it's AoE, she can target behind him and, and get... And Chester's over here, we'll say. And get Norik. She's well, gonna cast Chester, a dank third level shatter. Chester, Chester vamps away because I'm down. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. He fails. Nice. nice. So this will be 48 thunder damage to Norik. Oh. That is a shame. Marcus, you're up. I mean, it could have been worse. It sure yeah. could have. Barely. Let's see now. Ay, 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 ay. I'll keep going unconscious and shit. Well, it was either me or the person that had the celestial bow. So, me, yeah, to be honest, I would always take that L. Ay, ay, ay. How far is this man? Well, that's fireballing. <laughs> That's a fireball. Maybe God. don't hit Mar. <laughs> Maybe don't what? Maybe don't hit her on bat. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, I think, we're, I think we're done uh, uh, roasting him over the fire for that. Also, Literally. going to cast this using the staff of power. Tight. So it will be at fifth level. So and does Marcus the staff of care. power like uh, empower your casts, or is it? It just can only cast them at fifth level. Ah, does it give you like a couple extra slots for that or something? It has charges and such. Nice. He failed. He did fail. Nice. That's actually ah. forty-five damage. Yeah. Love <laughs> That is it's actually good time. damage. Holy crap. Rombat laughs and blood comes out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Just there's like a slight thumb over the ridge that Marcus is prone behind. <laughs> While he's still uh, dealing with the grabby hands. Um, and Barkus, now that... Uh, He's vulnerable. He's not going to let go of him, but he's going to just start uh, doing some attacks. Chewing. Yeah, chewing, clawing the works. All right. That is three attacks at Nork. He is. Why is it a disadvantage? Because he's restrained. Oh, he's restrained. Uh, yeah. No. Damn. Rip. <laughs> Foiled. Alright, but Farkas is also going to... Her let's see, is it a check effects. when you move when you have the grapple, or...? Hmm? Uh, he's restrained. He can't move. Oh, right, you are. Never mind. Oh, wait. Actually, time out. Hold on. Wait a minute. Is he immune oh. to being... Restrained? Oh, he's not. That's uh. a shame. Alright, anything else oh, well. from Bark? That'll that that's uh no. All right, Medrash, you're up. I was just scrolling through the chat a bit, and I realized, right. huh? You know, when I healed myself, I healed twenty one at level five. Move on, cast at level uh level three, healed twenty. Uh, no, sorry, uh, 
we both healed 21. To be fair, you healed Levon. Yeah, I did heal Levon, and thus gave, gave a... So is, is it my heal? Uh, well, His heals are your Basically. Heals Chain are heals. your heals. That's what that is, right? Oh, boy. Uh, I think heals. I'm the most damaged person in that cube, and I can't do I can't, I can't move, oh, and I'm on the ground. So I'll just trip uh, Sonic. What? <laughs> Not sound like a good idea, honestly. You can step out of Eldritch Blast. Uh, I cannot step out. He's restrained. I am restrained. You yeah, drink the net potion. I'll just heal myself. <laughs> I'll just heal myself. I, I do hope there is oil of slipperiness in my uh, in my bag, but I don't think this is the time to use it. Yeah, you're just restrained. It's not all that dire for you. Yeah, I think that also okay. takes ten minutes to apply. <laughs> uh, classic. He throws that it up is. into the air and takes the potion, and it Those splashes on him level. right before time mm. accelerates. Actually, that might be. Uh... That that is all I can do. Uh, yeah. Marcus. Yo. Bang bang. It's a good thing shot. I'm prone because it's just a normal shot. Actually. Yeah, Marceline's also prone next to you. Ah, smart. <laughs> <laughs> a wise decision. Uh, you forgot to apply the prone to yourself. Oh, okay. So we're just gonna roll this again. Okay. Please. Sounds good. That's a miss. Hey. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Bang. And it's getting a little late, guys. Yeah. Pick this up some other Maybe time. Maybe we pick this up in a couple weeks. I see. No. Makes sense. Uh, we're going to make the, yeah, the alert that... from. You're going to make the alert that uh, Aaron's stream had be be wrong. Hmm? <laughs> you're going. You're, uh, he's going to have to title a vod the name of the stream, and it's going to be a lie. Yeah. And just put an asterisk next to it. Bad face. You just do part two. <laughs> the last. The next, the, the next the episode of the will just be named the finale. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Oh. It's, it's a little late, and uh, you just got him too vulnerable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That tells me, though, that something happens after his HP gets to zero. Yeah, and not just... You're not just trying to end it here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean... I'm guessing we're about to Did handle... anyone really expect that it wouldn't? No. <laughs> no <laughs> okay, I... just checking. <laughs> Just saying, it's like now confirmed. Yeah, yeah. I because hope we're I have can... to handle Vicky now. I hope I create a pop back to, up to one, so I can just <laughs> upload the three fucking well, violent shots I uploaded. You'd still be restrained. Um... No, no, you actually weren't restrained. Yeah, he's the only one that saved. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Luvon also did. Luvon is not restrained. He sure yeah. isn't. Also, okay, we sent to MVP Chester. Okay, yeah, he did yeah. some good stuff. Yeah, that was that was a good one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, just because I think it's funny, also. Um, I'm gonna show you the lyrics. Oh boy. Okay. What? Ah. Hey. Okay. That ain't good. <laughs> See, that's why you guys should have gotten closer. There, what? Oh, that. Oh, there. Oh, oh, right there. Right there. I see. I see it now. Should have gotten closer. We can stay on that rock because we don't know. Well, the upside being that I realize that this is. We won't be restrained, I hope. Look at the map. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> yep, got it. <laughs> Makes it cute. Yeah. Upside because yeah. that's the layer action.
the camera is confused why why you got the old timey effect uh, on the stream. Huh? We said we were gonna quit and we're still reacting. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and wrap the stream up, I guess. Oh, okay. Um, right. So we'll be back in hopefully two weeks. Uh, assuming that my job schedule still allows that, but you know, I'll keep you all posted. Uh, other than that, you know, so I'll be up on YouTube and So tune in next time to see who dies and who don't. George! Alright. Farewell. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. Please come back in two weeks. Hey, or we can get it done today. Yeah. Goodbye, Internet.